Good day, good day, everybody. How are you all doing today? I want to thank you for joining me today. This is not going to be the normal live that you join me with. Today is actually going to be a special day. I have two awesome special guests, and we are going to discuss quite a few topics, uh, but we all have one thing in common uh, for sure, and that is uh, we all have extreme faith in God. We are all followers of Christ, and we all have the same main goal um, to meet each other up in heaven when it comes down to that point. So I'm going to go ahead and welcome them in. And I have Vision Preparedness here. And I have Brian from Be Ready. Hey, hey, hello, everybody. How's, How's everybody, everybody doing? doing? That was in stereo. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I am doing well. I have my coffee, so I'm happy. That makes I'm two happy. of us. Yep. So um, right. for those of you that don't know, um, both uh, Vision Preparedness, Be Ready Today, and even though you all don't know this, myself, we are actually preppers. Um, not necessarily for the end of the world, but for any circumstance that may come up, be it natural disaster, be it the economy going up um, or crashing, I should say, uh, inflation. Um, we prepare for those things. And in order to prepare for those things, I think you also have to um, prepare your yourself uh, spiritually, physically, uh, mentally. These are all aspects of prepping. It's not just stacking to the rafters. It is quite a bit more than that. Um, so if you all want to go ahead and tell a little bit about yourself so that others know, um, either one of you can start. Sir, Thank you, sir. Vision preparedness. Uh, I, I consider myself a, a prepper. Pretty much that I, I look back over my life and I pretty much prepped all my life because I'm that guy that always had stuff and collected things. Um, I remember very vividly when we had Hurricane Katrina and I saw the horrible things that went on in Louisiana and that solidified it for me that never ever in life depend on the government or for that much anybody else. So I started, started prepping and then we had the pandemic. And that- E-L. No, no, no. Yes, that kicked me into full gear. <laughs> and I've been prepping hard for the last three years, nonstop. And uh, it, it's become a lifestyle. And and I'll leave that right there on the table and defer to my, my brother, Be Ready. Oh, hello, this is Brian from Be Ready Today. Um, I um, am, you know, former military uh, IT uh, person, and I am a preparer for the second coming of Christ. That is my prepper. When I say prepper, I'm not saying as, as Christy, um, uh, my mother Sparks indicated, it's not a matter of me prepping and stacking things to the rafters, no. Um, and uh, it's not a matter of, I'm just talking about me. It's not a matter of me uh, being um, ready for a fight. It's me preparing me and anyone who will listen and give an ear on how to pre prepare for the second coming of Christ from this moment until when it comes. That preparation has, has uh, fed my entire being uh, ever since I was actually a child. And so what, I'm, what I do and what I am all about is helping people to prepare not only the physical, their 
emotional, their soul, but more importantly, their spirit. With a little bit of growing kale and a little bit of self-defense and <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but, especially with these prices in the grocery stores <laughs> right now. Yes. Definitely yes. got to grow you some kale. Goodness. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yeah. So the gardens. That's, yeah. Sorry about that. But yeah, that's no, who fine. That's who I am. Mm -hmm. now, this picture here, I'm not promoting this this uh, individual. This is an original. Um, you may not find the guy anymore, but it's titled Finding the Right Words by Ernest Hogaday. Hogneck, I'm sorry, the third. My wife purchased this from me, 20, I don't know how many years ago, but that's who I am, trying to find the right, the, the right words so that they who hear and give an ear will be able to prepare and be ready for when Jesus comes. And I'll shut up while I eat this kale <laughs> <laughs> and my potatoes outside and you know, some other things. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I haven't even started my garden yet. That's that's my fault. I've been a little lazy on that one. Likewise. It, and the weather here has been up and down so much. And I'm glad I waited because if I had a planet, I'd have lost everything already. Oh yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. For those last couple yeah. snaps. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Exactly. Yeah. I had um uh, I had this grow grow tent. Well it's not even a grow tent, it's I guess but yeah, grow tent. <laughs> I guess, you know, in the backyard. It's just a little makeshift. Not even makeshift, but um those last frosts that came through, um I found that my garden that I planted and you know, for those who don't know, I have kale. Um in 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 the uh, galvanized steel trough, and I also ha am about to plant um, cucumbers. And but long story short, uh, short, the only reason why my my garden, my little bitty garden, kept through and made it through was because I had them in that tent. Because okay. I, and I I measured it, it it kept everything twenty eight degrees lower with moisture in the air. Um, and so that, and consequently, in the following the following morning, I go in there and the moisture is frozen, but there's still moisture, you know. So that's the, uh, the right. weather has been crazy, and like right now it's like 58 yeah. degrees. Yeah, same here. Same I think, here. And I think it's in the 70s here. Yeah, it's 59 here. Yeah, and it and next week it's going to be 80 degrees. Yeah. 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 So we, we just have to be diligent. I staked out my garden uh, last week to get it ready. And I'm glad I didn't put anything in or because it had died. So this week, hopefully I'm going full steam into the garden because I'm not paying the crazy prices in the grocery store. It's, 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 it's sad. Right. It is very, very sad. It is. And and my, my take on everything that's going on right now, um, I, I look at what's going on in Europe and it's almost like a TV show. Yeah. And, and when you see a TV show, you know that it's scripted. Mm-hmm. So I, I take all of that with a grain of salt. I'm not panicking or, you know, going overboard on my preps because as a prepper, we have a plan. And we stick to the plan. That That's the whole key. You know, you, you have a plan. This isn't something that you know you just woke up in the morning and said oh i need to go buy food and you go empty out your bank account it, mm -hmm. it's a methodical process yeah. and with within and here's my my quick 15 second shameless plug uh for for vision preparedness you know we, we teach pre 
we teach preparedness courses along with some other classes, and we have a methodical plan mm -hmm. that, that will get our participants from three weeks, three months, six months <laughs> to a year, to a year. And that that's the, the vision is one year's worth of preps, not just foods, but everything else you may need to continue right. on right. if we have a SHTF event or the grid goes down or something else. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for 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 me, you know, I'm methodical about what I do. You know, some people do not like to go to the grocery store with mm -hmm. me because when I go to the grocery store, I may go to four different stores to get three different items. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, but everybody, all three of us, we, we have a plan. So yeah. that, that's, that's what it's about. Yeah. I think everybody knowingly or not has been a prepper at one point or another. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when I say that, a lot of people say, oh, preppers are crazy because they're going out and they're they're just buying all this nonsense and so forth. Mm -hmm. But prepping is also like if you live somewhere where they have massive winter storms, you go and you stock up just in case you can't get out to the stores. That's prepping. If you have a right. hurricane coming, everyone knows as soon as they say a hurricane is coming, bread, milk, water gets wiped out, gone. Right. Right. But there's people that plan ahead for that because, you know, if you live in a hurricane prone area, eventually mm -hmm. there's going to be a hurricane. So they plan right. ahead and they stock those things so that when when a hurricane does come, they don't have to go to five, six, seven different stores and pay twelve dollars for a case of water. Yeah, right. You know, even right. people that live check to check, a lot of times they think they know, you know, maybe I missed a couple of days. My check is going to be short. So since I have the money, this check. I'm going to go buy these couple of things just in case it's a form of exactly. prepping. it's just exactly. a smaller scale of prepping. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, like we, we, we look at, you know, sometimes, you know, some of us that might have uh, are from the Southern States or not even Southern States, but just in States in general, where we have some of our old, older family members that used to can foods. And yes, you know, like when I, when I was a younger, um, when I heard of cans and canned food, home canned food i'm like oh man uh, you know they must have a machine and the metal machine and it crops this and it sucks the air right. out and all of this stuff you know right. uh, but number one that in in that respect that was how they lived that's right which mm -hmm. happened to be the premier prep mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember my, my grandmother and her sisters, they had a garden and they would grow all summer. And then in the fall, they would harvest everything and spend weeks canning all of this food for the entire winter. I can't even remember my grandparents ever going to a grocery store. Never. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I don't think I can either, actually. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm thinking about like uh, I, I grew up in New York. And mm -hmm. but we had family members that came from the you know the south with cans, bottles, little bottles of food. Yeah. And it's like I remember it being uh oh, that's ugly, you know, <laughs> but if it's tomatoes, oh no, Brian, you have to taste it. Yeah, right. And then I you know, I, I had a family member bring some chicken. <laughs> and they had chicken. Well, actually, not a family. It was like the, that same family. Mm -hmm. uh, they came from Georgia, um, mm -hmm. and I'm like, "Ooh, man!" Yes, I had some peaches. Yes, that were at the time might might have been I don't know twelve, thirteen years old. Yeah, and it was good. <laughs> That's right. Right. Yes. My grandmother used to do beets. Oh my God. I her beets were amazing. And at Christmas time, she would send us home with quart jars of beets. Mm. And and me and my dad would just sit there and just eat them and eat them and eat them. And my mom would, would cook dinner and we would crack those open. Oh, 
Yeah. Yes. I love yeah. beets. I do too. Yeah. I do too. I oh, do too. Yeah. And they're a great yeah. detoxifier. Excellent yes, detoxifier. Yes. yes, they are. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they'll, they'll clean you out. Yeah. And so, so no, go ahead. I'm sorry, bro. No, go ahead, sir. Go ahead. So let, let me ask you guys this right now, and and you'll understand. And for everybody that that's on the chat, what what are you guys prepping at the moment? What are you focusing on? Hmm. You want me to go first? Nah, it doesn't matter who goes first. So what I'm focusing on, uh, it, it's actually twofold. Um, I'm focusing on uh, just making certain that everything that I have right now works mm -hmm. and of the plans that I have works. Um, the, a lot of the theories that things that I haven't done, mm -hmm. I'm making certain that my plan works. I'm also um, reevaluating how my family reacts and how my family um, poises themselves themselves. Oh, that's some horrible grammar, but <laughs> it's okay. But but you know on how their their posture for prepping, and so right. uh, for the and for this you know, meetup that we're doing, mm -hmm. um, it's I'm shocked now that my wife is like, let's do it, and she and, and she had that let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> Naj. I'm sorry. Hello, Naj. What's up, Naj? Naj. Right. What's up? I didn't right. want to interrupt, but yep, oh, Naj is here. Yeah, I just saw that. What's up, Naj? Uh, sorry, y'all. Who? <laughs> yeah, we all know Naj. <laughs> yeah. But I want to make certain. And now she's like, "We're doing it. We're doing it. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going." So now I'm okay. in a different mindset. Yes. So it's like, okay, well, this is a good thing because now I am. We're preparing now to basically prove out, mm -hmm. particularly being in a an environment where people are coming in, we have different, you know, we have different approaches to what we're doing. We're doing tents, we're doing um, fifth wheels um, and, okay. and the like. And so now we're gonna have, which is a first of its kind, we're gonna have mm -hmm. Two set, uh, you know, um, two sets of dogs. Each of us, Christy and I, have two dogs. Okay. And so that's what I'm prepping. I'm, I'm also prepping. It sounds like a lot, y'all, but right now I, I feel that there is a particular dire need to get our chickens right. Uh, so, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, but yeah, those are the type of things that I'm prepping for. And, and also the food. Right. Brian Naj is asking about the meetup. She doesn't know anything about it. Naj, okay. You know what? I will send you, and oh, Christy will send you an email. This is her channel. Christy will send you an email, or I know you're a member of mine as well. But we are on my mother's spot. <laughs> but Christy, uh, you can you can you know however you see fit to you know, send her. Uh, I can send her an email, but that means you'll have to email me her email address. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have her email address. No, I actually, uh, uh, Naj, wait, no. Okay, Naj, you can no, send me it. I do. I do. Send me an question. email at my mother's. Well, I can just type it in. My mother's spark no, at you, email. You, you got mods. Hold on. Right. <laughs> One of the mods out there, can you uh, put in Christy's email? Yes, sir. I will. We can multitask. <laughs> Plus, I'm on the computer, so it's easier for me. I was going to say, she's already got it in there, Brian. Mm -hmm. she, oh, yeah, okay. She, she, she That's right. It. Great to hear you from you. Uh, great to see you, uh, Naj. You hadn't spent such a long time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now it's in there twice. So, Perfect. Yes. So, so what are you prepping right now, my mother spark? Right now, honestly, I am prepping myself mentally um i'm prepping myself spiritually those are my two primaries right now uh we're kind of planning as well as uh plan a plan b plan c 
which a lot of people don't do. They just have a plan A right. and right. they don't have a backup plan. Right. Uh, as far as everything else, uh, I think we're pretty good. I mean, there's only so much you can do. Um, but as sure. far as, as mental and, and spiritual, that's never ending. You can always, right. always increase and, and make it better. Always. Right. Yeah. Um, physical aspect I need to work on because I don't like to exercise. But <laughs> I've got the brain power, so I'll do the brain power stuff. And my husband can do all the, the physical, you know manual labor and i'll just right. be like yeah honey that's perfect <laughs> brother marco <laughs> marco i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry marco he's gonna come in here wanting to come up here now <laughs> uh-huh that's okay yeah yeah and 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 i'm actually i just spent about two weeks mentally prepping i i had to step away and get some Trent time with just Trent yeah. and, and relax my brain and just shut everything outside of work down and yeah. family. Um, but, but now I, I'm working on holes and I, I specifically have identified holes uh, that I want to enhance. Mm. Um, so there, there are some uh, sources, um, off the grid sources I'm working on, um, some security sources I'm working on, and, and, and medical sources. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't know why I got on this medical kick that just, <laughs> I had to laugh at myself. And Brian, you'll get this. <laughs> I'm sitting here in the kitchen this morning drinking some coffee and UPS guy pulls up and I'm like, what is this? <laughs> Hands me a box and I saw the, the tape on it. And I'm like, well, I didn't order nothing from them. And so I opened up the box and in it was a dozen cat tourniquets. Wow. <laughs> exactly. And I'm sitting here like, no, that's, Mm. Yeah, I was Praise like, God I, for that. yeah, I said, you I might, you might need to explain this. that to some people. <laughs> okay. So, so vision preparedness, we, we have, if it's uh, okay, if it's okay, Christy, I'm sorry. If it's yeah, okay, yeah. Christy. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sorry. Okay. I get so excited when I, uh, I get so excited on speaking to fam. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, and you know me, I'm just as humble as can be until you give me the green light and then I'll <laughs> wait for the red light. But, but vision preparedness in some of the classes we teach, we're, we're teaching a class, two classes. One of them is called what's in your medical kit. Wow. And we talk about things outside of just band-aids, you know, or as they say, a boo-boo kit. Okay. Mm -hmm. we're, we talk trauma gear, you know, tourniquets for excessive bleeding that you can't stop by just applying pressure. And we, we teach them how to use a tourniquet. And there's another course that I, I'm in the process of getting certified to teach that's called Stop the Bleed, which is a nationwide class and it's free. And for those on the stream, if you can find a class in your city or town and it's called Stop the Bleed, I highly recommend you take that class because uh, they will teach you how to use a tourniquet, how to wound pack, advanced stuff other than just first aid. Um, but anyway, you know, I, I for the meetup, you know, I'm just like, okay, I need to take some tourniquets because I want to teach everybody because mm -hmm. all of that good stuff. But yeah, that box showed up out of nowhere. And I was like, I'm still trying to figure out when I ordered these because there was no invoice in them. <laughs> There's no invoice. And I went through all of our orders. Wow. <laughs> I I don't know. Hallelujah. But, amen. So mm. that's where I'm going to chalk that one up to uh, as, as a blessing. But, See, but, mm -hmm. it, so, you know, I, I, I'm focusing on getting the company off of the ground. We have made some tremendous uh, contacts in, in the 
you you two right there have been nothing but a blessing to me myself to let me know I'm not really crazy. So <laughs> no, you're not. You, know, you, you know, it's you not, can, it's not paranoia if it's true. True. I mean, <laughs> you, you, like they say, you know, if you think they're out to get you, then they're out to get you, you know, and I can only talk to the squirrels so long. So other than that, um, you know, so what would you say to a person that says, oh, everything's OK. I, I don't need nothing. We're good. I don't need to prepare for anything. How do you handle a conversation like we actually have family and friends that fall into this category. We have divided family and friends. So some know and some don't and some didn't know, but now know. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of them are mainstream media only watchers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which is okay if you're trying to find out, you know, bits and pieces of what's going on, but you have to go further in your research. You have to, I mean, myself, I go to other countries, news um, stations, channels, uh, newspapers, or contact people in other countries to find out exactly what is going on. So when I find this information for the people that are like, oh no, I don't, that's not true, or I'll ask them, um, do you know this is also going on? Right. Oh no, I didn't hear that. Let me send you this article. Exactly. So I try to educate people to some extent mm -hmm. and I try to um, kind of like with the hurricanes and the snowstorms and so forth, tell them if you're not going to do anything else prep wise, prep for those things that, you know, eventually are going to come. Right. right. You know, yeah. so we did have some people that that did do that. And I'm grateful for that. Um, mm -hmm. But it comes to a point. I mean, it's been over a year now of trying to get people to to at least dig a little deeper in research right you know verify what you're right. hearing right. and um honestly we've we've kind of stopped trying to mm -hmm. convince people anymore and mm -hmm. and made ourselves and our friends that do know what's going on and family that do know what's going on top priority so that when it does come down to something they're who we can take care of yeah right I, it's a, it, there's a couple of, um, of, of things that come to my mind when I think of the subject of uh, helping others uh, prepare for the unexpected or, or helping others that, that do not prepare. Um, one is uh, information, you know, uh, to your point, Christy, in terms of if you, if you stay in the same forest and hear the same wind blowing the same trees, for the same month, the same year, you're going to hear the same ruffles of the uh, of the trees and the like. You have to branch out. You have to be able to think differently. You have to be able to see that there's more to what you think your little world is. And so that's one of the things that I do in terms of trying to help people. Another thing is, um, and that's and that spans across, not only. Um, the, the aspects of preparedness, but it also spans across uh, the the spiritual aspect, the emotional aspect, the 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 thought process. Because again, if if that arrested development, if you're seeing yeah. the same, if you're thinking that Mama and them did it, I, mean, I can't even put my Mama them did right. it, <laughs> Mom them did it, yeah. yeah, Daddy did it. You know, I'm doing it. Well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, but mama and daddy, grandma, they were not in the age of neil real instantaneous information being provided to billions in a click. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's true. Showing them that. Um, and then as trying as much as I can, trying to practice what. I present. I'm sorry. That's my wife um, throwing food, dog food. <laughs> sorry. sorry. Gotta eat. sorry. Everybody got to eat. I'm sorry. But that's another thing in terms of going and showing people, okay, I've told you. Now I'm going to show you. Mm -hmm. 
you can look. Mm -hmm. And if you want, mm -hmm. come on. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to mm -hmm. show you. And hopefully you can show me. And so that's another way. Um, and then the third way you know, to another point that you made, uh, Christy, it's OK. So if you don't want to prep like me, then prep where you are. If you're in a tornado alley, if you're if you're in a, a hurricane alley or, you know, just OK, well, you don't get yourself. Together. But that's just some some of many ways. Sorry, Naj has a question. I think do you that's give really wilderness? Important. Do you give wilderness first aid classes? Wow. Uh, specifically wilderness? No, but in in our first aid class, because we talk about carrying a IFAC kit, which is a individual first aid kit, and not just a band aids, bruises, but something for trauma. Uh, sprains, breaks, everything, you know, it, it covers the gambit, uh, Naj. So um, if, if you want more information, send Christy an email and uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll get some more information to you. Yeah. But specifically wilderness, no, we, we don't teach specific wilderness courses but after the meetup who knows i i may come up with a brainstorm <laughs> well if we have certain people there or the, i mean yeah. the people that are going have a good diverse background right. so what one doesn't know another might know right so this, yeah, this would be good to learn things especially yes. from each other yes in different different things. I mean, I'm not just talking about medical. I'm talking about right. forging Everything. or cooking or, you know, mm -hmm. definitely. It, it'll be a good right. good time for us to to kind of see what we can do to help each other, yeah. even if it's just Absolutely. Can, right. Can, can I say hello to someone? Be right daring. Be daring. <laughs> yep. Be daring. What's up? <laughs> By the way, those on the stream, if you have questions, ask your questions. You know, we're, we're not just talking to the three of us. We're talking to everybody and just trying to share and, and, and help those that, that are interested. Yeah. Sorry, Christy. That was no, my you're fine. public service announcement. Yeah, yeah and, and we definitely ask see where he's talking over. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, oh, no I'm sorry. <laughs> no, guys, you know, everyone is seeing how ex I, I guess it, it's it's really obvious how excited we three are mm -hmm. and it's obvious that mm -hmm. you know we've been talking and we've been establishing our relationships and that's why we're just so excited to not only be together and to be you know with our sister christy and supporting her and yes. supporting yes uh trent at vision preparedness but supporting the community of what we're doing yep. so that's Absolutely. why uh, you know you, you might see you, you may see a little more Pep in my step because this this is fam, this is it fam, is. and we're and it we're is. it's we're we're really working hard mm -hmm. to help people at the point of their needs, and the yes. point of their needs, uh, the point of your need, and I, yes. I I very very seldom do this. The point of your need is to prepare. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, and sorry. we come from different different areas in life. Like we we are all yes. different backgrounds yeah. and and. Yes. Sorry yes. to say this, generations. Like yes. I mean, we really are. But oh, so so old. now you're saying I'm old? Is that yeah. is that what you're saying, Chris? No, she's saying I'm old. I'm saying I'm. Well, you're young. older than me, so I'm older than you. Yeah. So there it is. I'm old. I'm the old. I'm the I'm the old dog on the block. <laughs> Only by a couple of months. Well, maybe a few months. I don't know. Well, y'all can share your wisdom. <laughs> That's true. See, see how whether, I did that. Whether whether it's wisdom or a plethora of useless information, <laughs> I have it. <laughs> you know, I, useless jokes information. There. Yes. Yeah. Hi, I, Bernie. I tell you. <laughs> Thank you, Bernie. I appreciate that. Bernie, hello. How are you? How are you, Bernie? <laughs> Bernie, you did an excellent job on your safe book. That was really cool, and I really appreciate you doing that. That was awesome. Thank you. Sorry, I just had to touch on that. That was something yeah. that, oh, that her and I you're, had talked about before. Cool. Your yeah. channel, your rules. Yeah. I'm a guest. 
Me I'm too. A guest. Yep. I'm a guest. Your channel, your rules. Can I share something? Mm -hmm. Can I? Can I? I'm up here, right? I mean, you guys are above me, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Guys, you know, it's really hard to find people that are like-minded, that are truly like-minded. No, you can switch it back. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Christy. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, but there's there's really it's it's hard to find people that you connect with, and it's really hard for people to find people that you, after connecting with them, have a genuine uh, brotherly love and sisterly love. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I gotta say. The oh, it's, I'm changed now. What is it? Yeah, it oh. be to your to your left and down. <laughs> you know, <laughs> these, these folks. Yeah, yeah. You get what yeah. I'm saying. The, you know, the, these folks. Yeah, these two guys. Uh, these two folks are some good people. You know, Thank some you. people I you can't it. trust. Others you can. These two folks are some good people. Mm-hmm. B. Deering said that the older that they're an older one too, and that the young they need to teach the young to show them the way. Marco says age equals experience, which is right. absolutely true. Uh, yeah, a lot of the stuff right. I learned, I learned from somebody that has experience and was older than me, and passed it on yes. to other generations under us. Yes. 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 I, I I have two guys that are new to prepping that that are like sponges they 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 hang on every word i say and and one of them uh i always tell him i'm old for a reason and i don't have to explain any more to him he'll say something crazy and say hold up now i'm old for a reason and 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 those guys they get it one of them actually sent me a text the other day and asked me uh, what type of uh, hand radios did I have? Because mm -hmm. he wanted to get some, him and his wife. And 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 he said, we can't wait for your class. When, when are you gonna put all this stuff out? But he is so interested in it and they're doing it. And he said something about he was gonna do this versus being with his family. I said, no, uh, I said, mm. I said, stop, take the time out spend it with your family. You can't let this consume you. This right. is not a race. It's a marathon. Mm -hmm. And take time and enjoy your family. Yeah. And and he was like, you know what? That's that's right. That that was good. Thank you for that. Yeah. And and those are the things that I enjoyed. Listen, listening to the people, you know, the, the people that will listen and even those that don't listen. You know, including my own family. I got family members that, you know, just won't. They they they'd be like, oh, you, you got disaster food. OK, good. Yeah. And it, and the seed that you plant, even if mm -hmm. for those that may not necessarily portray that they're listening. Right. The seed that we plant and the example that we present allows it to resonate to the point where they can actually they hear it. <laughs> right. They hear it. Because, they hear it. because at the end of the day, they know I'm prepping for them also if, yeah. if something goes down. And that's okay. I, I know that. That has been in my plan from day one. Yeah. That I'm prepping for 10 additional people. Wow. Because they won't. But that's okay. That I like the conversation we had the other night. I'm that guy standing on the wall so y'all can sleep at night. That's that's just my MO. <laughs> and there it is. Yeah. How do how do you uh and you know this is a real deep con uh topic. Mm -hmm. Um but how how do you prepare others spiritually that you feel are not getting spiritually prepared? That is a deep question. First, I mean, spiritually, I, I, I mean, spiritually can spirit can mean a lot. Correct. Spiritually can mean the spirit of prepping or the spirit 
Uh, so we can talk specifically about the spirit of prepping. We can talk specifically about this, the spirit of unity. We can talk specifically about the spirit of God. But, you know, but how how do we, how do you prep someone spiritually? Here's the first thing I do, especially if I'm talking to guys. First thing I say is, are you married? They'll say yes or no. Normally they all say yes. It seems that I have very few friends that are not married. And they say, yes, I'm married. You have kids? Yes. Okay. Now, I'm very blunt and bold with them. I said, you are responsible for those people because you're the head of the household. It is your obligation. It is your duty to take care of them. And if you won't take care of them, not only are you doing a disservice to them, but you're doing a disservice to yourself. And I say it in a loving way, and then we just continue the conversation. You know, I said, you don't have to prepare for anything, I, for everything, because we don't know what's going to happen. We can only do what we can do. And then there are times where we just have to let God do the rest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But but when I talk to guys about prepping, you know, I say it's your it's your responsibility as a man. And and if your wife steps up and does it and you don't. What's that tell you? You need to get in one accord and do it together. That's 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 the hard me saying that. Now, the, the soft me, you know, when if I'm talking to like my mom or something, I'm responsible for her. I would tell her that. And, you know, and my mom, she she's old school, you know, her her grandmother, she helped her grandmother can and all that. My mom knows all about that, does all that. And, and so, you know, she she's she's to the point where. She knows that we're going to look out for her and take her take care of her yeah you know even to the point if something goes down and i have to go get her that's part of the plan i know and i have and and if i can't make it i have other people that can get to her that's yeah. part of the plan mm -hmm. but but you know i just tell guys if you're married have kids it's your obligation you have to do it yeah like with uh, from the standpoint, well, how about you, Christy? Um, how I was going to say, for me, I think one of the biggest things that that keeps people from, I guess, I guess, prepping themselves spiritually is fear. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to shed that fear mm -hmm. in order to grow spiritually or or, you know, you have to know that, mm -hmm. that yes, everything might be falling apart. It might be falling apart. Things are going crazy across the world. But if you're strong in your faith, and I'm going to go to the Bible, y'all. I don't know if you read the Bible or not in my chat, but it tells you what the steps are that are coming. It tells you what we're going to go through. But it also tells you the ending. And the ending is absolutely glorious. But to get to the ending, we have to go through these trials. You have to. So you have to shed the fear. For me, first step, mm. shed your fear. Know that you're going to be okay. Know that the, the ending has already happened. God already has won. Once Jesus died and resurrected, it was over. He said it is finished. So yes, we're going through some crazy stuff right now, but, but back to the original point, what Trent said, this is all a show. It is mm -hmm. all a show to try to get people more afraid, more distracted, more divided and keep them from their focus being on where it needs to be. And that's on our father. Right. That's, that's what I wanted to say. And, you know, it's, um, from my perspective, it's critical because, um, we can teach, um, botany and we'll teach someone how to take care of a garden. We can teach someone carpentry. 
they'll be able to take care of a carpentry and building houses. Yes, yes. Um, yes. And all those are good. But faith in God, mm. if we teach someone about faith in God, that covers all of it. Now, you know, there might be some people that look at this thing and say that we're being superficial, superficial in that we, we're saying, well, faith in God is like, OK, it's it's good. We have faith. Yay. Now I can go ahead and not prep. <laughs> it don't work that way. And no. you know that. Yeah. As as Christy said. Yeah, there there are trials. Yeah, there are, yeah. There are trials. And yeah. um, if you are prepping the most the, the 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 shortest point to you becoming prepared is who you can get and who can get there who can get there well let me let me rephrase it help me lord the shortest point of you preparing and getting to the point where you are prepared is god mm -hmm. because he will bring all of that he will bring the people he will bring mm -hmm. the knowledge mm -hmm. he will mm -hmm. bring the technology mm -hmm. He will mm -hmm. bend he, he because you know why God has uh, people in the camp, and so yeah. I think that's the that that's the most that's the that's what I think people should. And you know I'm holding myself right now because this is not my live stream, but you know um, I'm I'm just fighting, you know, not to break. I, I see I, I, I see you I, yeah I see you banging your head against the glass. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see you. Same here. I, I'm sitting here, legs crossed, and and feet just tapping each other. Cause yeah, I, I I'm with you. Like as Nas says, yes, Amen. Jesus has already won. We are yeah. just going through the. Oh my goodness! Praise God! Tell mm -hmm. that thing. He's already mm -hmm. won. This is already. You know, it's like yeah, yeah. We can say it's pre uh, predestiny, but predestined. Well, you know, you can call it all you want, but you know what? In the end, every knee. Will bow. Shall bow. That's right. And everyone and, and every tongue. What does it say? Will confess. Confess. That's right. That's right. But it, it it's to me, prepping is natural because everybody plans something. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? And and to all the, the, the mothers and fathers that have school age kids. That when that alarm clock goes off in the morning, you go into get ready mode because you got to get your kids off to school. You got to feed the dogs. You got to do this. You got to do that. You got a million things going on before nine o'clock a.m. And you do it without thinking about it. Right. Yeah. Because you have a plan. And, that, and that's the it's that step one. You got to have a plan when you have a plan. Fear goes out the window. Period. Uh, and and again, I'm banging my head against the glass because this is not my channel, so I I can't go full blown in. And, but this is our fam, though. <laughs> I know it's it's fam, and Christy just sitting there just a grinning because <laughs> I'm I'm passionate about what I what I when we talk about this because I want to help people. Mm -hmm. Because if we actually get into an SHTF situation, the grid goes down. I'm going to tell a story. And, and this is real. And, and I used to work. My, my background, first of all, is in IT also. So I worked for one of the largest power companies in the country. And I had the pleasure to talk with a gentleman that had worked there for 50 years before he retired. And I asked him, because I was raised, you always respect your elders and you close your mouth and listen to them when they talk. I asked him, I said, you've seen a lot here. And I'm not gonna name the company, but I, I said, Share something with me about it. And you know what he told me? He said, young man, if the electrical grid 
ever goes down, it's not coming back. Hmm. And I sat there like, what? And, and I began, I said, what do you mean? And he talked about the politics behind the electrical grid across the country, how they have not updated stuff and how they've not taken care of it as it should be. And how this country stopped making components to support it. And that, that has stuck with me for the longest. And, and I pray to God that if that ever happens, this country is gonna be thrown back into the 1700s. Irish, and I wanna tell you thank you for coming by real quick. I know it's late where you are overseas. I appreciate you coming by. Thank welcome you. Irish. Welcome, Irish. But yeah, that that's that's one of the things that sticks in the back of my head. And I'm that guy that at two or three o'clock in the morning, I'm up thinking, okay, I need to get this. And and because I'm old for a reason, I have a pad that I write stuff down on. Mm -hmm. And I was the type of person that never wrote stuff down because I always equated that to being old. My dad would have sticky notes all over the house. And I was like, he's starting to lose his memory. He said, no, it's so that I don't forget because that's a priority, son. <laughs> Words of wisdom. So, you know, I, I, I write stuff down. Yeah. So, okay, so I'm done. I missed a comment from Bernie earlier. And I actually kind of okay. want to address this. I hope she's still in here because she's. it's also very late where she is. It's actually probably early morning where she is. Um, she said trust isn't an easy thing to ask her for. You know, she has a lot of trust issues. And uh, I, I think having trust issues isn't necessarily a bad thing per se. Um, you don't have to trust everybody. And right. in my opinion, because you have a hard time trusting people, it makes you more aware and, and watchful of people, which is not a bad thing, especially right now. I think you should be able to, to watch everyone. Um, you don't have to trust someone to talk to them and feel them out either, uh, to right. kind of know what their That's game good. plan is. Yeah. Um, maybe they have ill intentions, maybe they don't, but you don't have to trust someone to start talking to them to find out what their intentions are. But I, I do agree with you that that trust is a hard thing to do. Uh, it is for me as well. I, I actually will will feel somebody out before I talk to them, um, right. or share certain things with them. I don't share a lot of things. Um, might seem like I do, but I really don't. I, I keep a lot to myself. Um, but trusting, not trusting someone, is not necessarily a bad thing at all, Bernie. It, it actually probably will will protect you. Yep, it's one a.m. where she is. I I knew. I knew it was early in the morning there. Um, Thank you for joining us, Bernie. Yeah, you, you don't have Thank to trust you. everyone, Bernie. By all means, it, they, there's a lot of people out there that will take take your trust and twist it, and, and really they'll hurt you with it. Um, yes. They will. You have to guard yourself. But at the same time, don't, don't distrust everybody. Don't distrust right. everybody because there are good people out there. Even though they are few and far between, there are good people out there that do want to help you, um, do want to befri befriend you or want to help take care of you when it gets to that point of, of you needing that help. And you mentioned earlier about your mom saying that it's our responsibility to plant that seed. And that is so true. That is so true. We, we actually just had a very in-depth conversa conversation last night, this panel did about planting seeds and yeah. it doesn't take much. It doesn't take much to plant a seed. You just have to have faith that God will make it grow. That's Amen. right. Amen. 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 What's the biggest, uh, in, in, in this panel's opinion, and maybe uh, we can get some uh, feedback from the audience, what's the biggest hurdle in getting someone 
to change their focus on not prepping to prepping. I think I can, can I, can I maybe go first? Yes. Um, Absolutely. Two things we, we've been talking about. We just talked about it. Fear and trust. That's my opinion. Fear and trust. Mm -hmm. Those are the two hurdles. You know, some people, and you know, they, they have fear about prepping. And in my opinion, they, it's like almost to the point where, you know what, I'm not going to do it. I don't want to think about it. Yeah. You know, yeah. I don't yeah. want to think about it. Yeah. And so, you know, okay, I'm, I'm okay where I am. Okay. I'm all right. I got, I, I got some milk, you know, I'm okay. Leave me alone. It's okay. I, nothing's going to happen. And, but they're afraid. Others, in my opinion, like to Bernie, uh, to, to Bernie's uh, point. Thank you very much, Bernie. But trust. Okay. So now I, I think. Okay, I know that I need to. Now, how do I? Who do I trust? Because they are some scoundrels out here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are some scoundrels. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, because being being hurt, um, because of the fear of being hurt again, you have you fear. For, for trusting someone, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a witness, and I'm still there. That's why it just takes me almost trust analysis paralysis. T, A, P, tap trust analysis paralysis. Right, right, right. It's like, you know, but we, but we, but that's where the faith comes into play. Yes. And if someone hurts you, okay, you know what? Ouch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll. Mm -hmm. Flesh out more later on, but you can't stop. Yeah. Right. Hence, you can't fear. Right. Well, let me rephrase that. Lord, forgive me. I didn't mean to say we can fear because that's a that's a that's a part of who we are, because God created fear. But the Bible says God did not create the spirit of fear. He created Thank you for fear, claiming that. But He did not create the spirit of fear. Correct. But power and of love mm -hmm. and of a sound mind. Mm -hmm. And so he did create fear because, I mean, if mm -hmm. you read in the Bible, who told, fear not for I am with I am with thee, do not be dismayed for I am, I am your God, I will strengthen you. I mean, there's there, but you, we cannot let it stop us because right. hence what my mother Spark said earlier, there is, I mean, there we got to go through stuff. Yeah, and we I, do. But we, we have to. But we cannot do it alone. We cannot do it unknowledgeable. Right. And we cannot do it unknowledgeable because, you, because you know, people don't really want to, or you don't want to look at the true essence of what's really happening. Trust. Yeah. Yeah. Trust. Trust. So... Yeah, yeah. That's deep. How about the do we miss any questions? Did we miss any comments about that? Um, I've been mm -hmm. clicking up a couple. They weren't weren't really questions. Um, Bernie is Bernie's talking about uh, people are afraid of the unknown, um, mm -hmm. which is kind of funny. I agree with her, but the unknown is being created by what they see on the outside. <laughs> so they're afraid of the unknown of what they're being fed. Wow. And Bernie, I know that that you're in a faith based home. Um, I've watched you enough to know and talked to you enough to know. Because you're in a faith faith based home, you know. You may not know what the plans are of these things on the outside, but you know the end. So you should not be afraid. Mm -hmm. Do not be afraid. Because you know the end and you run into people that fear the unknown, tell them confidently, I know the end. Would you like to know? And that's your door. You can plant your seed right there. Yeah. It just takes a little bit, but you know the end. There is no unknown for people that are believers in Christ. We know. We know what's coming. We may not know the way that the world is going to do it, 
but we know what's coming. We know how to fight back. We know what armor we need to have. We know the end result. We know what the reward is afterwards. You know, and those are the things that you you really need to just hold on to and just keep remembering and, and don't let the world distract you into forgetting that you know the end and the end is glorious. Yes, indeed. I want to address that real quick. Cool. And Bernie, you can always email me too if you want to talk more. I know our schedules are off by quite a bit, but by all means, if you want to, to email me, we can go back and forth when we're awake um, through emails or through Messenger. You have me through Messenger too. Oh, um, great. God. Oh, oh man. Amen. Bernie says, Marco, I am working on breaking down those walls one brick at a time. Good that's God. Our, that's how you do it. One brick at a time. Absolutely. Ma'am, ma to God be the glory. Yes. You know, there, there's, so my response to that is two, twofold because I have family members that just won't do it or they don't want to hear all the rhetoric and everything bad that's going on in the world with, with air quotes here. So they just ignore it. Doesn't mean it's not happening or going to happen. And the ones that are closer to me, I just include them in whatever I'm doing. And yeah. Yeah. And, and then just mention to them every now and then, hey, by the way, um, I saw this great sale and I picked you up a few. How's that? Can I come by and drop them off? And they're like, oh, thank you. You know, so. That that's not something ongoing, but just to get them thinking, hey, here's some extra. Yeah, my so uh, add yeah. to it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with my with my uh, media family here, uh, I got some, mm -hmm. I got um, a family in, in in the surrounding area, right? Um, and you know, some don't, uh, and there are reasons why uh, some don't go camping or you know the like because of health reasons, but. Um, right. I, uh, you know, and I, I tell them I'm praying for you, but, you know, but yeah, yeah, I'm prepping for them also. Correct. <laughs> and, 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 exactly. And, and, and see that that's, that's the loving spirit in us. And y'all, and y'all know that, and, and you know that, because that's why you said it the way you just said it, because at the end of the day, especially our loved ones, we want them to be okay. As as much as they may walk with two left feet and we're screaming from the top of the hills, I am my brother's keeper. And at the end of the day, Amen. I got you. I got you. Yeah. And like with my you fam, just, they I, I tell them because you know they live, you know, we're we're several miles away. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, I'm not gonna be able to get over there. I'm not coming. If something happens, you know, I'm not coming, mm -hmm. but let something yeah. happen. They'll be the first ones knocking on the door. And I'll be the first one knocking on their door. Let's go. We ain't uh -huh. got time. We ain't got time. I'm Let's go. Coming. I'm not coming. I'm not coming. I'm saying it. I'm not coming. Pray. I'm praying for y'all. Like I say, wait, something break off. Yeah. You go get them. Where are you? Yeah, right. Where are exactly. you? Exactly. 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 I um I went as far as as my youngest. We have a code. He knows if I text him this code, mm -hmm. he knows exactly what he's supposed to do mm -hmm. and where he's supposed to end up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. and, and we have something similar. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, that's part of the plan. And, and that's why I say, folks, it, it's easy. It makes it more tolerable or palatable if you begin to put a plan together, even if it's by an extra can of something when you go to the grocery store. Just buy one extra can, two extra cans, extra case of water, extra pack of batteries. Oh, by the way, I need some more charcoal. Buy a bag mm -hmm. of charcoal. You know, it, it's, it's, it's baby steps. And then next thing you know, you turn around and look and you're like, wow, 
I got three weeks worth of food. I don't have to go to the grocery store this week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yep. And Nash says that she thinks people are afraid of what other people will say, that we're crazy preppers or paranoid. What I think, though, is when those people that are saying that are eating their $50 six-ounce steak, I'm eating my $10 12-ounce steak. Mm -hmm. So they can say whatever they want while mm -hmm. they're, they're mm -hmm. spending this money mm -hmm. now. Because yeah. I'm eating my steak I bought last year. Because I was going to say, stuff. last year you vacuum sealed it and put it in the freezer, and it's good for whenever, whatever. And exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And, you know, I just give it case in point. Okay, so supply chains were uh, basically down at one point during our pen, plan. plan, plan. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, people like, oh, no, well, we, you got to go to grocery stores a certain time and certain day. And, and mm -hmm. I couldn't find any chicken as I'm watching these folks on YouTube and yeah. everything. Yeah. As I cut into my baked chicken breast that I threw on the fire outside of the wood uh -huh. that I purchased literally 13 months ago. Right. I'm like, oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, and yeah. I, I'm, 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 you know, that really happened. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. But what we're trying to make is, if you're gonna buy one chicken, buy two, if you can. If you if you go to the grow and and keep your eye out, mm -hmm. because if there's a chicken that Food Lion or something didn't sell, mm -hmm. and it's two, it, it's one day before. The expiration date. Well, number one, we are we we know about expiration dates, so let's. That's uh, not. Know. Yeah. But <laughs> I digress. You know. But yeah. go ahead and buy it. Chop it up. Get you some vacuum pack. Rinse that thing off. Vacuum pack it. Throw it in the freezer. See, it's good. Or, or if it, the better choice. If because if the grid goes down, as mm -hmm. Brother Trent said, if the bridge, if the, if the grid goes down, mm -hmm. done. So mm -hmm. invest in a canner. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be mm -hmm. fancy. Get a real mm -hmm. canner, not mm -hmm. an electric canner. Right. Chop that thing up. Throw that thing. You know, look up how you can stuff. Yeah, because you can really yep. get sick. But can that thing up, and so now, yeah, be ready. Said, huh? Go put a chicken in, in the freezer. Well, check this out. I got a chicken in my cup bowl. Exactly. <laughs> that will last no. about three, four, five years if the yeah. grid goes down. That's right. Y'all saw what I showed you the other night. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, canning canning is, 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 I actually like it. I love canning. And, and when you mentioned chicken, and, and this is it today. I had to go see my son, so I just made a quick run through our local Kroger's just to see what I could find. Two whole chickens, reduced price, mm. $5.31. Mm -hmm. I bought two of them. They're in my freezer right now. Did I need them? No. I got plenty. Like you said, I got chicken from last year and the mm -hmm. previous year that are vacuum sealed and still good. I got some some chicken that because of where I got it, uh -huh. I didn't even remove it from the packing before right. I put it in the freezer. I got hens right. in the freezer, little Cornish nice. hens. I've got some too. Old. Yeah. And, awesome. And, and it's like some people may think, well, I, I remember I used to think like this even when, when I was in the mm -hmm. military. Oh, I got a little freezer burn on my chicken. Oh, so much for that. Right. Mm -mm. Man, depending on where you go. Oh, I'm sorry, Christy. <laughs> <laughs> why, wouldn't, why wouldn't someone want to prep? Yeah. Why Marco made a good you? point, too. He said that a lot of people think that um, they won't prep because they think they have to buy six months to a year all at once. But they can't afford it. And and that's that's not I mean, if you can't afford it, by all means, go do it. Mm -hmm. But I don't right. think any one of us in this chat or in this panel was able to do that by 
any yeah, means. Can't. Yeah, it took a long time <laughs> to to get to the points that that we're at, and it was just a little bit at a time. It's even the dollar store, y'all. Right. Even the dollar store. Mm-hmm. Just be careful when you go to the dollar store because some of those things in the dollar store they will rip you off. Yeah, so they just do. Pay it's attention. Yes. yes, it is. Yes. What's the look thing at the of- best. The best buy dates. I look at the best buy dates, and I went there the other day and bought a. I was specifically looking for pineapples, canned pineapple. Because I needed to add some more fruit to my preps. Yeah. Went in dollar. Went in the dollar store. Libby's chunk pineapple, dollar twenty five a can. Best buy date was twenty twenty six. I walked out of there with. I bought. I bought. I'm. I. I'm not ashamed, and I'm not a hoarder. You call me a hoarder if you want, but I'm taking care of my family. I yeah, walked yeah. out of there with all three cases that they had on the shelf. I bought them all. See, and you know, some people they will say, "Oh, you see those preppers." You know, I think was it who, who said that um, some people have this. Uh, we preppers have a stigma, like we, those crazy preppers. Was that Nas? Nas. Mm-hmm. Nas. Nas. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, and, and you're right, sis. You're right. We do, but yeah. it's not paranoia if it's true. Mm-hmm. I'm not That's hoarding. True. I'm taking no. care of my family now. Taking care of my family. And, and the it's only not like we're not going to use it. it. I'm sorry, man. Right. Go ahead. I said it's not like we're not going to use it. Right. My 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 son will take a can of pineapples, put them in the refrigerator for a day, open up the can, and he will eat the whole can of pineapples. And I'm not mad at him. <laughs> I am not mad at him. I'd rather him eat it because he doesn't eat sugar and sweets. He may have some every now and again. Oh, again. okay. I but because of, of, of him being, you know, what he is and what he does, he doesn't like artificial sugar. Yeah. He grown. I mean, he, he's 17. You may go get yeah. a job. I'm just joking. Oh, uh, he's got one. No, he's oh, got okay. a job. <laughs> and and thank God and praise God because he eats free where he yeah, works. I hear, I hear you. No, I was just joking. I was just joking. No, you know, I'm with you. And, but he, yeah, I was just he, joking. he'll eat a whole can of pineapples by himself. Man, I wish my gut can do that. I, my my sugar levels will be like five thousand. I'll be sitting here, you know, talking like Barney Rubble, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you know, like Christy said, we're, it's stuff we're going to use. And if I see a sale, I'm buying it. And if I can, I'm going to buy it all. Right. Yeah. I want to say hi right, to Bernie. TZ real quick. Um, TZ Games just came in. And if I'm correct, TZ, aren't you in Texas? I want to say she's in Texas, and if she is, I will bet you she is somewhat of a prepper as well because they had that huge snowstorm that was yes. unexpected. Right. Oh, you're in Kansas. Okay, so you're Kansas. still aware of the the super cold weather and um, tornadoes, massive tornadoes. Um, look, look at look at Marco's comment also. This one, the the new one. Yeah, how many preppers? Oh, yeah. How many preppers were there during and after the Great Depression? I bet they didn't care what you called them. That's Got true. That right. That's true. Okay. And because I'm not that old, our generation didn't live through the Great Depression, but my my parents and grandparents did. And, and my, yeah. Yeah, that's why they have gardens. That's why they raise their own meat, their own livestock, and their gardens. Because, I'm going to be honest, they couldn't afford it. So they grew their own. You know, it is crazy because some of those folks that that lived through that, that are still alive today, will talk. I mean, we didn't. Yes. We didn't see a depression. Correct. Because you know, we still had food. We had our chickens, yes. you yes. know, went out there, you know, we raised our chickens. We had pet chickens that produce eggs. We had meat chickens and these are certain, a certain type. And then what we did was we went ahead and rotated my food and, you know, I mean, and that, that, that's what I'm talking about. That's what that's what folks do in Africa, something in yes. some uh, countries in Africa. Yes. You know, and, um, 
Yeah. I just put the StreamYard link in there since we have people from different parts of, of the U.S. and the world. If they want to jump up and talk instead of having to type everything, they can. Um, so anyone, if they want to jump up here, they can. Bernie said that she has a veggie garden. And Bernie, that's actually a form of prepping, you having your veggie garden. Yes. That I'm is sorry. actually a form of prepping. You're, you're preparing yes. to have your own food at hand if you can't get food. Oh, Bernie so says I'm from South Africa. Praise God. Cool. Look at that. See, that's what we're talking about. See, and yes. You know, it would be cool to hear your perspective as to how yes. people live in South Africa versus um, mm -hmm. and maybe we would do yes. that from another uh, uh you know from another stream or whatever, but yeah. Exactly. And and Naj comment that you put up on the on the screen there. So Naj, I'm gonna add to that. Here, here's what I tell them because I have friends that say the same thing. I told them if I tell them, if you think you're coming to my house, number one, you better bring everything you have to take care of your family because I'm not going to take from what I have and my family goes without. And number two, if you show up and don't have anything, you will be turned away by any means necessary. And I'll leave it at that. <laughs> yeah. And see, like, you know, I, I, I'm i a, I'm such a softy, I don't know. Yes, you it's are, like, and that's okay. Uh, you know, but it's like, don't cross. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so you mm -hmm. come here, you're not prepared. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's mm -hmm. here's some spam. Yes. Oh. And here's some you know, droplets for cleaning hey. water. Mm -hmm. I've got Bernie coming up. Ooh. All right, Bernie. Welcome, Bernie. Hello, Hello. Hey, everybody. Yeah. All the way from South Africa. M must I say good morning? Early good morning, South African time, almost half past one in the morning. <laughs> As you guys can see, I'm still awake. I can't sleep. <laughs> oh, good morning. Yeah, to we you. all have that problem for sure. Yes, yes, we do. Yes, <laughs> mm -hmm. welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining. How it's is a the pleasure. Prepping? I'm sorry. Go ahead, ma'am. I'm sorry. Which one? <laughs> oh, I was uh, uh, just have to put. My... Uh oh, you Bernie, what sorry? kind of issues do you have there where you are that that we're talking about? Veggies and stuff like that. <laughs> no, like the problems that you have there. Do do your problems that you have there? Do they are they the same type of problems that we have here in America? Oh, they ten times worse. They ten times worse. Remember, South Africa is a third world country. We still third world country, so we have a lot of problems. The whole of the African continent, actually, yeah. is um, poverty is a major thing in this country, and the whole of Africa. Um, now with the i don't know if you guys saw on the news the floodings that we had in the kwazulu natal area down by the coastline people lost everything they still people missing three weeks after those flooding that i couldn't find it houses actually swept away with people inside so um th that is a that was a national disaster the first one in many years that we had here the whole country is actually coming together um praying for families who lost everything for people who lost their loved ones um i haven't i actually have goosebumps talking about it um to see a country come together in a disaster like that and um also with the big sea thing that's still going on um, they made sure that the homeless people had shelter. They put up tents wherever they could. Um, the the militaries um, came in and they put up tents for people to stay in, just to stay out of that. Because it hit us in winter time. We started. We have winter from March up until August. Our seasons are different than you guys over there. Mm -hmm. And they went and they put up tents. They put out food parcels. And they just went crazy to try and help as much people as they can. 
to get isolated, to get in, indoors or wherever they could put people in, they did that. Um, me and my mom, n we n we're not people that go out. I don't make friends easily. As you guys saw, I have serious trust issues. But what we did from our side, we, when you go out, you do your groceries, you buy a little extra. We put it in a, like we called a, a goodie box um, that we made up. And then we went to the church and we gave it to them and they distributed to whoever needed it. And I'm still actually doing that up until today. Um, I will once a month pack my little box with um, food and, and tin food and stuff that don't go uh, off so quickly. And then I check the, the, the best buy date and all that. And me and mom, mm -hmm. we actually, mom is actually busy knitting now scarves and gloves for children for winter time. Wow. That we do it yeah. every year. We have this little Bernie and Mom's project that we we call it. Um, mm -hmm. I do my arts and crafts as well, as Christy knows. Um, I've got my YouTube channel. Um, some of that stuff that I made, I actually donated it to people um, just to brighten up their day also. That is my giving back to community. My Because my mom tells me, Bernadette, you, you're so blessed. You've got such a great talent. God gave you a talent that I don't know where your talent comes from because she's not talented. My dad's not talented. And then, but a lot of people always tell me, you've got a God-given talent for what you do, the things that you create. I create arts and crafts. I video it. I put it up on my channel. But sometimes... I go and sit by my table and I do a lot of other things that I give away. I don't sell them. I give them away. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that is my, then my mom says to me, that is why you're so blessed. Because mm -hmm. you are giving and not always just receive. You don't want to receive, but you always give. So she sometimes fights with me. Because then she wants to buy me something or give me something, and I don't want it. I don't want something given back to me, because that is who I am. I will rather give than to receive. Yeah, right. That's a blessing. That's good. That is a blessing. Wow. So this disaster that, that you were talking about, was that recent? Yeah, it was like in February, March, April. I think it was March, April. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know if I'm the only one, but I, I actually haven't heard of this here. Did, yeah, did I'm looking. I'm trying to look it up right now. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't know anything about it. Our news, mm -hmm. a lot of the things, this is kind of what I was talking about earlier, is a lot of the things are happening in other parts of the world other than Russia and Ukraine, we don't right. hear about. They, they don't right. put it in our news unless we go look for it. They only give us what right. they want us to see. So yeah. that that was a surprise to us for you to bring that up because we we haven't seen anything we didn't even know about it. Durban, yeah, it's called Durban, you, South Africa. Yeah, Durban, South Africa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you Google it, you will find it. If you YouTube it, you will find it. It is actually so so sad that um, and that, but that area is Ireland for flooding, but. Um, mm -hmm. They had a, a, a major flood a whole lot of years ago. Um, I had a friend who was in the military actually at that stage where they went also down and took supplies down. I'm talking about 20 years ago. And they now all of this, this one now, the recent one is so, so bad because there's almost 500 people died in those floods. I just, and, read, uh, I just read that there are 400, well, this says 410 people. Oh, 410, mm, 410, yeah. But that was, yeah. that was you know, a week ago. Wow. Yeah, like I said, there's still people missing that they didn't find uh, in that wow. flooding. That, um, like I said, houses got swept away. On the one video that they that I saw, they it literally shows you how the house goes down the river bank and away with the water. That's and when I saw that on the news, I told my mom, the only thing we can do is pray. 
Mm-hmm. Spray is the only thing that's going to help that community to get back up on their feet. Yeah. And, you know, this is, and, and thank you, Bernie, for sharing this, you know, and, yeah. you know, this is basically in line with what my mother Spark was saying in terms of, you know, we have to be aware, we have to look at stuff, we have to look at other news sources and look at what's going on in the world because if we keep if we continue to work a little, just look in just our little area mm-hmm. we're going to miss the uh, 300 410 people now I'm, i got another thing here from bbc of uh, abc news 435 wow and more unaccounted for and this and we this is what we we we're, we we put you in our prayer list this is something Absolutely. that we don't hear about Right. And see, and that's and and it's it's a shame, and that's and see, this is how God works. He allows us to you know to to, to go beyond where we are. Mm-hmm. And so, I just want to swap my camera so that I can you're be. Fine. Cool. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. You're, you're fine. perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. How does uh, you know how do um, like when things are just normal? in south africa and i guess normal is what normal to you is it normal to me (laughs) it may not be but how do people prepare there i know i i i glean that you live in a spiritual home Mm. Uh, praise god for that how do others prepare for not only you know when, when things are okay and you know uh, we know, we read about the, the the civil unrest and and the racial unrest and everything. How does how does your average everyday South African prepare for what might come? Um, it's different. It's difficult because we've got so many cultures in this country. Um, and so many um, religions in this country that it's difficult to actually pinpoint an exact, especially now when the pandemic is going on, we couldn't go to church, really go to church. We were not allowed to go to church. We, not, we, we, were, not al- we were not allowed to attend funerals. People only attended funerals, 50 people. Five zero people could attend the funeral of a loved one, mm-hmm. and with the African cultures in, in South Africa, they throw parties when somebody passed away. R- literally a party, like hundreds and thousands of people go. They they slaughter cattle and they go. They party when when a person passed away, mm-hmm. and now they couldn't do that, and that actually put a damper on the spiritual side, people are so mm. down that the depression rate in this country skyrocketed, especially mm-hmm. now the past two years. A lot of people committed suicide and a lot of people... So, but what the pastors and the spiritual people tried to do was other ways and means like on the radio or on the TV, they try to encourage people to keep their faith, to um, stay yeah. strong, to pray for one another. Um, especially that first year where we were on hard lockdown, we're only now out of a lockdown level. Wow. End of April. I think we were the only country still in the world that was under a lockdown. Us and some of the African countries. African countries. I'm not... Right. up to date with all the, the stats and stuff like that because right. it is depressing we all know it mm-hmm. the last two years nothing were the same but what they tried to do was encourage people to keep your faith keep your spirit if you have a bible at home read your bible pray um, and just continue to keep the faith and continue to trust in God or whoever they believed in, um, because not everybody believes in God. I know that. Right. My right. my brother, you guys, right. I'm telling this for you on the first time, and I'm not afraid to say it. 
my brother came to my mom one day. He told my mom, I do not believe in God. And my mom almost had a heart attack because we were raised religion, faith in the mm-hmm. house since a small child. Mm-hmm. And my mom just looked at him like that and I told him straight, if it wasn't for God, you wouldn't be here today. You wouldn't put one foot in, the, in front of the other one. Right. So do not tell me you do not believe in God. Because God created you. God put that breath in your body that you are breathing in and out every day. So don't go and talk your nonsense somewhere else. I'm you not. Know what? That, yeah, there you that go. Was, <laughs> that was four years ago. Good for he you. Never, he never stepped into my house. Christmas Day last year. For the first time in four years, he came to my house again. And I looked at him. And my mom looked at him. He said to mom, I'm sorry for what I said four years ago. You were right. Without God, my, li- my life would have been a disaster. So my mom said to him, you know what? Prayer is a good thing because I went on my knees every day and I prayed for you. And God yes. touched your heart again and he made it soft and you turned around. Amen. And that is Amen. what I'm trying to do with other people as well. When I see they struggle... When I see they are low in faith, I start praying. I even prayed for my boss the other day. (laughs) I really prayed for my boss the other day. He made me so angry at work that I just turned around. I went went into my office. I closed my door and I start praying. And I just (laughs) asked. (laughs) And the the next day he came to me. He said to me, Bernie, what did you do to me? I said to him, I did nothing. I said to him, I did nothing. God the is working power with you. Of prayer. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I said so, to him, I'm not doing it's not my work, it's God's work. I only prayed for you. That's all I told him. And he turned around and walked out of my office. Yes. yes. Prayer is more powerful than people realize. Mm-hmm. It really is. It's way more powerful than people realize. I, Christy, I must share your channel with my sister. She is a huge Christian, and she is, she's got, she prayed for people that were about to die of the big C thing. And the next day, the guy called her back, and he told her, I'm sitting in the sun. Her own brother-in-law, she said to him one prayer on, on over the phone. She was talking to him on the phone and he couldn't almost speak because he had, didn't have a voice. And the next day he called her back and he said to her, you know what, your prayer helped. I'm sitting in the sun. I'm feeling much better today. Mm-hmm. So I must Please. share your channel with my sister and she's going to love it. You two will talk for hours. Believe me. That would be great. I, I, would, I appreciate that a lot. And I mean, this this live isn't my normal live, but it mm-hmm. it fits into everything. It really does. It fits in, and we all have the same mindset, and we all have the same faith, and we need to get this word out. And and like Brian mm-hmm. said, a lot of people think that if you're um, if you believe in God, you shouldn't prep. And I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. And I, I think most people that believe in God don't don't necessarily believe that i think that the world today has corrupted what the church was meant to be yeah correct and it has turned a lot of people away from god because the church the the church now a lot of them have created their own rules and it has really given a bad Mm -hmm. name for the Mm -hmm. actual church and it's very hard because we're not perfect None of us are perfect. We don't claim to be perfect. I don't want to be perfect, to be honest. I don't. <laughs> perfection I don't doesn't exist. Right. Perfection doesn't exist. There was yeah, only one, per- one, one perfect person that walked this planet. Yes. Yes. And, and I don't want to go out there and judge anybody either. I'm not here right. to go out and judge no. people. Mm-mm. I'm here job. to help them. I'm here to bond yes. with them. And, and yes. like you were saying, trust is hard. Trust is hard, mm-hmm. but you got to start somewhere and, and your spirit inside, the Holy Spirit will tell you if that person is okay or not. 
Mm. But you got to give the chance for it. You know what I mean? But it, it's, that's what I that. Sorry. <clears throat> no, go ahead, hon. Go ahead. That is why I told. That is why I said in the chat I am busy breaking down those walls bit by mm. bit, um, um, brick by brick. It's not going to be easy. I know the devil is out there attacking me around every corner he can. Mm. But my my oh. faith is stronger than him. My mom's faith is stronger than him. Mm -hmm. And she tells me that every day. She tells me that every day. Do not let the devil attack you. Mm. If you Whoa. if you feel down, just go on your knees. Go lower than he can attack you. Go on your knees. That's the only thing that's going to help you get through this, get over this. It's been nine years. And um, something just told me tonight to come to your live stream. Um, I was reading my book and when I saw your notification that you're going live and your notification popped up, I put my book down. I opened your live stream because something just told me, Bernie, you need to get in there. And it's, I have, I don't always go to everybody. Christy, you know me. I support whoever I can on, 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 on YouTube. Sometimes, Absolutely. yes, because it was late. It was almost, it was midnight and, um, <coughs> or just before midnight. I thought, okay, now I'm going to read my book and then I'm going to go to sleep. But when your live stream popped up and I saw your thumbnail, I said, uh, uh, Bernie, you need to get in that live stream. You need, my, to be there. <laughs> you need to be there. You need to show support because this is what you're going to need. Because that little voice inside you tells you what's right and wrong. And like you said, the Holy Spirit will guide me and he will help me. Um, He's been, God's been with me for my own entire life. Mm -hmm. If I have to tell you guys stories of how many times I was supposed to be dead already, it's not something I talk about, right. but my mom's prayer pulled me through at the age of five. That's good. That's mm. good. And, and, and I'm going to tell this story in, in the middle of the pandemic a little over a year ago because I, because I'm that guy when, when I talk to God, I talk to him like we're talking now and, and I, I, I press him. I said, Lord, this is not right. Something is not right. I, I'm, and I'm not looking for what's not right, but you need to tell me what to do. And don't ever ask him to let you see what he wants you to do unless you're prepared to do it. I start having dreams of a famine. And this was almost two years ago. And, and I kept having this dream. So I would open my Bible. And, and of course, I start reading about Joseph in Egypt. And, and how Pharaoh, you know, gave him control of everything. And he told Pharaoh, there's going to be a famine and, and bring, everybody bring their goods to the storehouse. And Egypt prospered. The famine was seven years long. I told my pastor, I said, pastor, I keep having a dream. We're going to have a famine. And that we need to start preparing and prepping food. And out of that conversation with him, it just kept, I kept having the dream. And that's when vision preparedness evolved. Two weeks later, he let me do a class on preparing and preparation at church. And I shared that with as many people as I can. I even told my whole family and everybody thought I was crazy except my mother. And she said the other day we were talking, she said, I remember you talking about a famine. I said, yeah, mom, look at the prices now, what's going on around the world. 
And, and she just shook her head and said, you were right. I said, no, I wasn't right. God was right. <laughs> and and I, that's why we do what we do. And I don't know about y'all, but I still have the feeling that something's not right. There, there is more to come. Mm. I don't know what it is, and I'm not going to say I do, but it's not going to be good, whatever it is. But mm. that's okay. Because like Christy said, we know how the story ends. <laughs> but in the meantime, I'm going to live my life and I'm going to enjoy my family and I'm going to eat good and I'm waiting on for the meetup. I can't wait for the meetup. I was doing, you know, Brian did a video that short that just got me hyped. I'm sitting there like, oh, so now I got to do one. <laughs> so, you know me, I'm, I'm digging deep. I'm pulling out gear and I'm going to do my video. But, but you know, it, it's people... No, let me back that up. God brings people into your life for a reason. Okay. We may never know the reason. And 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 like you said, Bernie, you prayed for your boss the other day and he said to you, what did you do to me? <laughs> Number one, he didn't know you were praying for him. Whatever the prick on his heart was, <laughs> let him know who it was. Hallelujah. Without you saying a word, mm. so that's that that in itself is is amazing. But it, it, I found my peace because where I was at wasn't where I was supposed to be. Mm. And when I sold my house last year, I said, "Lord, you know my heart." I said, "I don't know nothing about living in the country." but you're going to show me. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll figure it out. And here I am in the middle of nowhere, loving life. Hallelujah. Had, I've got my peace. Hmm. And you're looking at a city boy who grew up in the inner city his entire life. But I had, I, I watched, you know, I watched the, the Andy Griffiths, the gun smokes, the, Low house on the prairie, all that stuff growing up. And I'm like, see, that's that's where it's at. Get rid, get away from the 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 hustle and the bustle. I'm tired. I was so tired of that stuff. And you know, people come out here and they just like, wow. And I'm like, this isn't about me. This is this is a, a place of rest and refuge. Yes, ma'am. Go right ahead. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I wanted to go back to DB's comment. Um, I don't know if you saw it or not. It said I have yep, turned my I back see on it. the church because of corruption yep. and the things that I've seen, but I've never stopped believing. DB, the church mm -hmm. is not a building. Mm -hmm. The church is here. You right. are the church. We are the church. Us coming together and talking about God and faith and how to be saved, that is the church. Don't Say let so. the world hmm. fool you to think just because you're not hmm. in a building that Hallelujah. you're not praising your God. There's Hallelujah. so much hmm. corruption in the buildings out there, and I agree with you. I absolutely agree with you. I tried to find a local church to go to, and the ones that were around me, I was not happy with because the first 45 minutes was talking about money. Give me money. I don't agree with that. And and the next 20 minutes didn't even talk about the Bible. They didn't even touch on the Bible. For me, if you're going to go to a local church, you need to find one that still uses the Bible, still preaches out of the gospel, still tells you what the truth is and not what Preach. they want you to know what the truth is or Preach. what the world right. tells you that the right. truth is. Mm -hmm. We are the church. Right. You don't have to go to a building to be a part of the church. You just have to put all of your faith in God, put your love in God. Follow those Ten Commandments and your your I'm telling you, your world will be so much better because God will help show you the right way to be a Christian. The Holy Spirit will guide you. It will all guide you. Mm -hmm. Don't mm -hmm. don't think you have to go into mm -hmm. a building mm -hmm. 
to be a believer because my confession, I don't go into a building. My church time is just like this. It's me by myself with God. It's me by myself reading his word or Mm -hmm. it's fellowship with other believers. That is the true church. Buildings of churches did not exist back in the time. Don't let anyone fool you. Don't ever let anyone fool you. God says in his word, do not forsake the assembly of the saints. True. So in other words, and I'm paraphrasing it, but and you know, but in other words, do not say that the gathering Mm -hmm. is not necessary. Yes. But to Sister Christie's point, this is a new world. This is a new world. We are, Sister Bernie, you are probably 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 miles away from where we are. Mm. And we are together. Mm -hmm. Yes, the argument can be, yes, you need to be in the, the word word specifically says, you need to be in the number. We have to, and, and being around the saints, is therapeutic, yep. but also it is something yep. that God has yes. commanded us to do. Yes, that's However, true. what that's does true. that mean? What what that meant two thousand years ago? How do we apply that today? We get. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> Go ahead, and finish, finish, I'll, look, finish. I'll throw it to you. So during the pandemic. Our church never closed because the man of God over our house said that was not of God to close his building. We, we, we have one Sunday, no church. He said, that's the biggest mistake he ever made. The rest of the two years we had church outside in our parking lot. He said that will never. He said no president, no governor, no mayor is will never tell this church that we can't meet and worship the God we serve. And we had a couple issues with uh, BLM, but because. We have men in our church, and I'm 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 paraphrasing and skipping without giving details. We handled the situation on point and never interrupted service. And we will never close our doors. And you know, there's always a compare and contrast. You know, I have mm-hmm. a cousin in New York where mm-hmm. they didn't close their church, mm-hmm. uh, but they had 10 people pass. Right. Um, and it, it, you can we we it, it we can we can divide this thing and we can argue this yeah thing right all day long the simple mm-hmm. uh, you know I didn't say simple but God wants us to be in the number God yes. wants us to be a part yes. that's the reason why yes. He has yeah. allowed man to mm-hmm. discover I mean mm-hmm. this stuff this technology we have. <laughs> it was it's already amazing. discovered a billion years ago. <laughs> that billion years that we know. Right. But God is allowing us this opportunity to be in the night. Right. Exactly. And exactly. you're right. There should not be, in my opinion, I don't give my opinion much, but this is not my channel, right? So I can give my opinion. Yeah. I, 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 you're, yeah. Yep. In my opinion. Think about it as this you cannot stop a religious group from meeting. Now, some no. people are take that and and, and it's it, it, and it's a fine line between because some people took it literally and they had sickness and they yes. went in front yeah. of people and they, uh, you know and they got sick and died. However, you know, yep. uh, speaking to a trusted physician explains yeah. exactly how that thing jumps 
from host yes. to host. And yes. so with that, with that said, you should a, a, a country now see, and this is crazy, but a country should not be able to shut down a place of worship. No. no. And it's a shame, and it and it is can it, it can be considered super spreading. And mm -hmm. that super spreading thing, it's not a fake. I mean, yeah, we know that it, it could have been planned for this virus or, uh, yeah, well, some people feel it's planned. Other people, feel, other people feel that it's, you know, just something that happened. But regardless, it mm -hmm. happened and it was real and it's real. Mm -hmm. And But you can't mm -hmm. stop people from worshiping. Mm -hmm. you, uh, mm -hmm. And that's what however happened However they feel. That's how, however, however, yeah. however. Yeah. Okay, Christy, I, I'll be quiet. I was going to say we have different opinions on that super spreader stuff because it was amazing how they said that churches were super spreader, but the hundreds of thousands of people in the streets weren't a super spreader. Correct. So, yeah, that's that. You. And you're right. Well, you know, it, you're right. And, and I'm so not saying it are... wasn't contagious. I'm not saying that at all. I mean, right. you all know that mm -hmm. I wholeheartedly know it's real. I know it kills mm -hmm. people. I know mm -hmm. firsthand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But here. the fear that they pushed out yes was 10 times worse yep. than what it actually was mm -hmm. and that's why you see family members pitted against each other because yeah. of the fear that they put out and and i'm speaking firsthand and it it's amazing yeah and the, the, the communication is what they put out what was kind of horrible on the yeah. contrast of that, there were a lot of people impacted by the inflammation that this thing gives. Oh, absolutely. And, and mm. you know, uh, and but the thing about it is this, in my opinion, how can you single out something like a worship service and mm -hmm. cast it as a mm -hmm. super spreader? So right. we, we, we have that in our mind, super spreader. So it's like, I for, forgive me, Christy, for saying super spreader. Because you know what? The thing about it is, you know, that that is a comes to something that is casted by the media. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But however, mm -hmm. three years ago, the flu ran through my office. Mm -hmm. And one of the ladies in my office went into the ICU for the flu. And that year they were saying, oh, there's not enough. That's another fear thing. There's not enough shots and blah, blah, blah. You know, and, and that's just a, that's a pandemic. Oh, that's a, <laughs> a epipandemic if you, it, it, but the, the, in my opinion, but the point, the point I'm trying to make is, so I know people that were sick with this thing. I know healthy young men, young women yep. that almost died from this thing. It is mm -hmm. a virus. Yes, it is. And, yeah. But what do we? Uh, and we and that's another question. How do we plan for the next whatever? What I mean, how and then or, or how do we plan to, to you know how do we plan to tell people yeah. about how they prepare right. for the next big wave of right. the pepper going in our nose and causing us to sneeze. Stay right. focused, lead by example. Yep. Stay <laughs> focused. It it it's amazing. You're you're absolutely right, Christy. Stay focused and lead by example. And 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 that's what I did. That's exactly what I did. While I literally had people begging me to to take the arm ticket. I'm gonna pull one out of AP's book, take the arm ticket. I said, never. And they were like, but if you love this, you would. I said, what's that got to do with love? What's love got to do with it? I did, I, I said, explain it to me. I said, first of all, I'm, I have no adverse health issues whatsoever. Thank God, thank you, Jesus. Nothing. And I said, that's like changing a good tire, expecting a flat. 
there, it's not broken, so don't fix it. Yeah. Mm. So I, I, I say, that's fine. I, I said, re I respect your decision to get the arm ticket. Take respect my opinion for not taking the arm. Yep. That's all I ask. And for me, like, you know, you, you, you see this, this, this crew that's on this panel, <laughs> you know, yeah, we, we <coughs> have differing opinions. Well, mm -hmm. more specifically, mm -hmm. I have different opinions than my brother and my mm -hmm. sister. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. But we're still brothers and sisters in Christ. Yeah. Yeah. It is what it is. We can talk about this thing all night. <laughs> we can do compares and contrasts, or we can bring up specific details pertaining to how this virus works. But in the end, right, we're brothers and sisters in yes. Christ Jesus, our Lord. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 And I'm going to see how good you cook breakfast here shortly. What do you know about cheese eggs? <laughs> the, the same the same thing I know about cheese grits. Oh, <laughs> oh Bernadette, you, I, you, I was I wish you were able to uh, you and your, your and, and your mother can come with us, you know, for at least a day or something, you know, and uh it's gonna be really nice. Yeah, my mom's already yeah. asleep. She goes to bed at ten o'clock at night and she's up at four o'clock and then she's awake until 10 o'clock again she's so busy she sometimes tire me out and um, she would love to be here but she's she won't go she doesn't do youtube so she won't come on camera but um yeah she will sometimes sit with me and watch a video especially when christy does her little um videos uh, bible study videos and stuff that she puts up I will show my mom it and we will listen to it and then we will discuss it, especially the nice. the, the um, verses that um, nice. Christy put up or we, whatever other Christian channel I watch. Um, then we will take it and we will um, read it ag again in, in Afrikaans, our home language, and then we will discuss it and um, go into detail and you guys, my mom has read the Bible from Genesis up until the end, straight through, seven times already, a whole Bible, seven times already, straight through. And every time she reads the same chapter in a different year or a different time, it has a different meaning. And, um, and like I said, my mom is my spiritual guide. She keeps me on track. Um, she knows when I'm down and she knows when I'm up and she knows when I'm yeah. And um, yeah. she knows me like the back of her hand. And um, then we will, we every morning and every night we sit together, we do our Bible study. Um, we read scripture we, and then we go into discussion. And sometimes we will argue about something because I see it this way, she sees it another way, and then we will start a little argument. And then when I when I see the argument is getting a little bit too heated, then I step back and say, "Okay, ma." <laughs> then I say, "Okay, ma, you win," <laughs> because I don't like arguing about the Bible, but it's not bad arguing. It's just expressing your opinion, if I can, if it. Maybe like that. I can call it that. I don't know. Yes. And yeah. then, and then, um, then I will go to work. I will have my day at work, and then I will come back, and then she will, and we will, and then she all of a sudden just picks up where we left off this morning. <laughs> like this afternoon, I was busy filming that little book safe um, video um, that I put up, and when I was done, I was, and when I was cleaning up the mess. Um, before I continue with the last bit, I took the, the blanket out and I went and threw it out in the big dustbin. And I don't know what, I came back in 
and she said to me, I hope God will forgive me. I've murdered, I committed murder. I said, Mom, what are you talking about? She said, I killed a mouse. The mouse was, right, was coming out from outside to the inside of the house and she killed the mouse. She said, I hope God will forgive me. I committed murder. I said, Ma, don't worry about it. He will. <laughs> Little things like that, um, that comes up in our daily life. Because it's just me and her. Um, mm -hmm. I lost my dad 23 years ago um, due to a heart attack. So mom's been living with me for how many years now? Eight years. That me and her are now living together. I'm actually looking after her. She's 78 years old. Okay. Amen. And she's Amen. refusing to go and stay with the other, other kids. And I'm refusing to put her in an old age home. I do not believe in old age home. Yeah. So I made my aunt a promise before she passed away that mom will stay with me. I will look after my mom till the day she goes up to heaven. But, you know, like I said, it's little things like that that um, even myself also. My mom knows me. She knows when I had a bad day at work. Um, she said to me, my girl, you've just got this walk. When you walk into that gate and you come towards the house and you have that little walk where you have like a little extra step that you take, then I know. And my facial expression. Then she knows I had a bad day at work and... Um, then she will just, she will greet me and then she will disappear and then she will go to her room. Then I know it's pray time. It, she's in prayer now, just to calm Bernie down. <laughs> because I sometimes get home and then I don't have anybody else to talk to and then I talk to mom and then I get excited and I vent and I go off like a rocket. And But lately, before I even can do that, I get this calm feeling over my body. Then I know mom had disappeared. She went and said a prayer, and that is why I'm now cop. <laughs> and I don't have yeah. to disrupt the household. <laughs> right, on, right. One, one thing I'd like to say, uh, my mother Sparks, thank, thank you for um, having me on your channel in this discussion. Um, yeah, that, I'll leave it at that. Yeah. This is an awesome discussion. And Bernie, I'm so glad that you came up here to, to chat because there are things across the world that we are not aware of. So to be able to talk to people across the world, across the oceans on the other side of the earth is is really amazing to be able to, to share information and still be like-minded in our core. You know, it's it's just amazing. It's an amazing power to, to really be able to to get together and, and this this db is church right here just Amen. so you know um mm -hmm. it's been a blessing to to be able to have everyone pull together and and to have so many awesome people in the chat and really see what what everything is really about and and share beliefs and and not want to go fight with each other with disagreements that's how it should be and you know what we mustn't be afraid to share with other people. Like we shared now here, we must now all, especially me, I know um, I do not go into my religion side so deeply with other people because what I'm, I'm always afraid of, I'm going to get that door slammed in my face. That is my, my, my issue. My mom doesn't have an issue. She will go to the, to the um, health clinic to get her medicine once a month and she will, so, so to strangers, she will start talking gospel. And, um, Amen. <laughs> Amen. That's right. I still have that little bit of a confidence issue uh, mm -hmm. or uh, um, I can't do it openly with everybody. I think that's also where a little bit of a trust issue comes in. I don't trust myself. But when I'm with mom and she started talking, then I feel like, okay, now I can also say something. And what we shared here tonight, this is a little bit of Bernie that very little people know about. 
and now it's out mm. there in the world. Everybody's got to. That's see okay, it. <laughs> Bernie. Right. And- Bernie, I, I will say this, Bernie. I love your accent. I I I, I, I could sit and listen to you talk all day. I I, I'm, I, I love your your South African accent, and I know you're sitting here listening to us saying, "Wow, they have an accent." But yeah. I, I I I love your accent and, and oh, you're genuine. You. You're genuine, and and my prayer for you is that God will pour out an amazing blessing that you won't even be able to consume all of it. Mm. Mom said Period. to me also, my girl, your blessings are coming. Yes. You do you do not know yes. when, but they are yes. coming. You yes. know the second person to to, to to say that to me. And yes. um it is you know what guys, tonight I am so calm. Inside, yeah, yeah. 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 My mind is calm, my heart is calm because mm-hmm. I also suffer from depression. And it has been eating me hard lately. My mother spoke knows I took a week off face um YouTube that I didn't commun I didn't put out videos. I was in live streams but I didn't communicate. I was in the background. And this is really what I needed tonight is to calm my mind down, to calm my heart down and to know that there is people Total strangers that I'd never met in my life yeah. that is praying for me at the right this moment. I know mm-hmm. there are people, people mm-hmm. in chat, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. whoever mm-hmm. is going to watch this afterwards. I know that there will be people continuously praying. We're all praying for each other. I yeah. said my prayer while we were having this discussion. I sent up a prayer up mm-hmm. softly. I did it. And that is why I'm so calm at the moment. I've asked God Please. to just guide me and help me to open my ears, not just to listen, but to take in what we are discussing here mm. tonight and Please. to absorb mm. it on my own terms, my own way, and go and think about what was discussed and especially about the fear part, the breaking down of the bricks that I need, that Marcus, Mark, Marco mentioned, and all that. Mm-hmm. Take it step by step. And that is really what I needed tonight. Like I said, it was just as if something told me to come into the stream tonight. Mm-hmm. And I'm glad I did. And I'm glad I got to meet all of everybody else on the panel. I know Christy from the, the Facebook yeah. group, um, and stuff like that, but you guys on top there as well. Um, Christy, will you please just, um, I don't know if you put the links for their channels, if they have YouTube channels, if you put the links in your description so that I can um, go and. I will do that. Um, what? I will do that. Brian, do you still have it on a sheet where you can just copy and paste in the chat too? Yep, I'm looking for it right now. He's going to put it in the chat as well, um, but I will put it in the description too, and I can also send it to you directly. Um, yes, but you can do are... that as well because I really want to connect and um, both this a little bit ex- up and um, because I need, to be honest, guys, I need positivity in my life at this stage because at work, it's always just negative, negativity. And then when I get back home, mom is the positive one. I don't have friends that I go out to. I don't go out. I don't go visit. I am working home, working home, or to the shop and back. That is my routine. I have YouTube friends, yes. But I don't have real life friends. That is where the, the issue comes in. Because I had one very close friend. He passed away last year, October. And since then, no more friends. Then I made, then I have made now one new friend. But I haven't met the person eye to eye. 
and I made a lot of friends in the Facebook group, but that's online friends, it's not real friends. And I think that is still something I need to work on, is that trusting people. Well, I'm, so, I'm working on it, I'm, built, I'm breaking down those little bricks, but by bit, but it's going to take yeah. time. Yeah. And I, I need, um, how does my mom always say? You need encouragement. And she gives it to me daily, and she can talk to me daily, and she can preach to me daily. But I work things for myself out on a different on a different level than what other people do. I think my mind is a little bit too active because I think I'm talking to you you guys about one thing, and my mind's already racing in another direction. Mm -hmm. And that's that's not good <laughs> because I sometimes mess up. I sometimes get confused. I mess up, but. If I know I'm now in a little bit of a pickle, I just ask God for guidance. And mm -hmm. I ask mm -hmm. him to just calm me down and mm -hmm. clear my mind to see what's right and wrong. Mm -hmm. That's right. So that is That's exactly right. Yeah, we, we all mess up here and there, Bernie. We yeah. all mess up here and there. And, and sometimes yeah. we have to question question things that we're hearing. Because sometimes we fall into that, oh my goodness, is that really going on? And we have to step back and look at it again. So mm. you're not alone in that. You're you're never alone, period, ever. And we've all fallen into the depression. We've all fallen into the anxiety, especially with everything going on in the world. And when you feel like that, you have to do exactly what you did and just unplug for a little bit. Yes. Mm. Because everything that you see will feed into that fear and that anxiety and and just the the feel like you're falling apart, feeling like you're alone. You're not. Everybody is going through it. Just not everyone talks about it. Right. And I think, honestly, if we would talk about it more, we would be able to help each other more. Because then you know you're not alone. Mm. I will definitely eat you up if I feel a little bit down and um, I need somebody else except my mom to talk to. I will definitely eat one of you up um, to talk to or or just to, um, because it, mom always say, talking to a third person is always good. A new perspective, a new perspective on, on something is always good. <coughs> Sorry. So um, I know the um, DB is in the chat, TZ is in the chat. Um, there's a lot of people that I can talk to, mm -hmm. but sometimes I don't want to burden other people with my issues. That is that is also me. I don't want to to um, share my my issues with other people because I don't want them to feel sorry for me. So Sorry, I don't know. I am uh, listening. I'm just oh, okay. I'm, I'm trying to time something out because it's repetitive. Okay. In the chat, yeah. I, I had something in the chat that kept going repetitive that I had to time out for a minute. Sorry, sis. I was trying to look at it. I was trying I to get you it. Were. I saw yeah, you. I know I, you were. Yeah. I can't it's see you. chat at the moment. I can only see the little box that you pop up. I yeah, don't know I know. How to yeah. I have two windows going, so um, so I can watch <laughs> chat. But it, it started being uh, repetitive emojis, and that's oh, where yeah. I'm not that, that's where to... yeah, it's a it might be a yeah. bot, but what yeah. I did was I, I narrowed it down, and so you know this is some things that we don't necessarily do sometimes. But I narrowed it down from it, basically what the what the what the channel said, and I told them I believe it's Korean that we're praying for you. Mm -hmm. No, and yeah. they um. Yeah, and it's also going to be considered as spam if it keep, can, continues popping up. Right. 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 And see, and you know what? When people poke like that, do you do you know why? It's because we are disrupting. Of course we are. Satan's mm -hmm. world. So so, so that hoping, means we're doing we're doing something right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping that mm -hmm. um that the person uh isn't a, dro a troll and 
sorry if you are, but there's just, there's some indicators that we need to take uh, uh, and uh, protect our family. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. And um, just again, folks, uh, that that particular person, if you're still listening, we're praying for you. That's what I put in Korean. We're praying for mm -hmm. you, but we have to protect. Mm -hmm. So I'm sorry, Christy. I'm I, I forgot when I was doing that. I forgot I was on camera. I'm sorry. No, no, no. You're, you're fine. I knew. I, I knew what same... you were doing. Yeah, yep. we were watching the same thing. I was listening, but yep. I was watching to see if it was going to become repetitive right. and i was like uh eh, let me let me right. uh, go ahead and time that out so i didn't i didn't block them i just timed them out so hopefully okay. they understand that they can't keep doing those emojis repetitive like that 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 doesn't work yeah just One because I, just, i'm sorry go ahead sir no go ahead no go right just ahead. because we believe in jesus christ as our lord and savior just because we confess with our mouth and believe in our heart that god has raised jesus from the dead and we're saved don't take mm -hmm. our meekness and our faith for weakness. Got that right. Because you will find out real quick that that is not true. And we slow to, <laughs> we're slow to anger. So we're not even talking anger. Right, exactly. Yeah. Now, talking, one, go ahead, brother. One, one thing I want to throw out, Christy and, and Brian, and, and this came to me, and, and I'm still listening to hear the end result of uh, the image, but uh, Brian, I want to offer a free class that we do live. And I will give you guys the details of which one. I have an idea of what it is, but I, I for everybody in the chat, um, if you're late or just come in, my vision preparedness, we teach classes for fee, but I, I've just been led not too long ago to offer something free to everybody who hears it. I don't care if it's one, 10 or 10,000. So we'll get the details. And and to be honest, Brian, we, we can host it on your channel because you know me. I, I could care less where it's where it is. We'll talk about that. You know, okay. we'll, we'll talk about where we're hosting. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um, Bernie, are you seeing the the messages mm -hmm. that people are putting up for you? Yes, I saw DB Swan now. Um, thank you, DB. You are one of the great friends I have on YouTube. Always supportive. Always asking me how I'm doing and all that. And I saw, I think, Nyas um message as well. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you for the prayers. Absolutely. Absolutely. I truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Absolutely. That's, that's what it's all about. At the end of the day, that's what it's about. Oh, thank you, Marco. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to make sure you saw those messages up there. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. um, Marco said we should do more lives like this again, um, mm. which I would like to do. I would like to get together and... Um, talk like this again. I'm multitasking. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get you the other link in the chat here. Which, which, which one do you need? Sis? You're, you're um, I got yours up and now I'm getting Trent's up. Don't worry about it. I got it. Okay. Uh, I agree with you, Christy, what you just said, except I, I, I want to see one of our moderators also included in this. I, I and, and yeah, you got a stalker now, Marco. Uh, you you get yeah, uh, you need to be in on this too. And Bernie, I, I you're more than welcome to to always come yeah. back and join us. Yes. Oh no, yes. believe me, I will come back. If, even <laughs> if it's two o'clock in the morning, even if I have to set my phone alarm to wake me up, I will be here next time. Nice. <laughs> That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. Nice. Hopefully, we'll be able to get um, TZ up too and DB up and yeah. um, Naj eventually. Yeah. Um, but I know a lot of them are working and or it's it's the same time early in the morning for them. So they probably have people sleeping in their house as well. Um, I, I, I'm humbled, just humbled by everybody outside of the U.S. that joined. Um, thank you from 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 the bottom of my heart. I, I thank you because that just uh, 
confirms with me that what we're doing and what we're going to continue to do is the right direction. Yeah. Because as a wise man always told me, it's not about me. It's bigger okay. than us. Yeah. I am. We have been talking, guys, for two hours and 20 minutes. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Once I again, am. and <laughs> there we go. Never. We never have short conversations when we all get together. <laughs> never. Even yeah, separately, we never have. Oh. Yeah, I, I love it. DB's nope, in Germany. Much love from Germany. DB. DB's in Germany. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, I'm 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 praying for you, and and if there's anything I can help you with, God bless. Reach out to me. Uh, hit me up on my channel. My email address is there. You know, that goes for anybody that's on the stream tonight. Because at the end of the day, no matter where we are in the world, we're we're part of uh, one race, and that's the human race. We all have one creator. Whether you believe in God or not, it that doesn't mean it's not true. So, again, my mother spark. I I am humbled and blown away. I'm I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> I'm not because my God, mind is racing a thousand miles, and I'm gonna get out my pad and pencil, and I'm gonna be writing for the next hour. <laughs> <laughs> and within that hour, I'm sure Brian is going to call me, or you're going, or the three of us are going. Oh, to we got to jump on the call before this. I mean, correct. after this, so after this, right? It, I'm, and I gotta, I, I gotta take my sixty year old break. So, <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. If if that makes you sixty, then oh, that no, approaching you... sixty years old. No, okay, yeah, I I'm say behind you. you. I'm behind you, sir. See, but, he, but, he, my, he, but my body may not be especially the old man, uh, old man thing, you know. I I, I understand, and I'm gonna no comment on that. that. Do I need to shut up, Christy? Tell him to Christy. I was just reading notes. I was just reading um, messages okay. in in there, and um, I I put everyone's um everyone that's on the panel tonight. I put your page up in the chat or Brian put your page in the chat, Bernie, that includes you. So you're, because you're on this panel, I'm going to put you in the description as well, because you were a part of this conversation, which we very much appreciate. Yes, we do. Oh, thank um, you so very much. And mm -hmm. I am and so glad that you put that in there because I yeah. found uh, Bernadette and it had seven subscribers and it said, please help, please help this, please help that. I was like, is that it? I said, I can't find it. I can't find it. I found no, it now. I'm, I'm, I know where Bernie is. I'm subbed to her, so I could pull I am, her. I up. am too, actually. No. Actually, I think everyone in here. I <laughs> and I, I and I will be. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, everybody. Absolutely. Okay, this now year shows Bernadette van Wyk van Wyk, is what however you want to mm -hmm. pronounce it. That's my surname, but mm -hmm. my channel name is you guys know Bernie Arts and Crafts. I was actually Bern and and then I, I got a suggestion to change my channel name to fit more with the content that I put out. So we changed it to Bernie's Arts and Crafts. <laughs> so when you come on next time, Bernie, if you put your channel name up there, it will get your channel name out there to anyone who cycles through that comes in the live. Okay, can, can I change it or can you change it from your side? Um, I don't think I can oh yes i can i did not even know that this is only my second time using Streamyard. so no, no excuse come on <laughs> you're you're one you're one time ahead of me <laughs> <laughs> i don't I even have stream on my phone Ta -da. There you go. Good job. There you go. There you go. You are my Marco, first team wait, why, team. why why isn't she not handling her biz business? <laughs> she's down here. Do oh, she's down there. For you, she's over there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and guys, um, just a heads up, I will be starting a second channel called Bernie's Cooking and Baking. Um, uh -oh. I've got yeah. I've got I've got one video up on my channel, this channel that's got titled 
Viking traditional South African Moltar. That's a traditional oh, South African my dish. My goodness. And I'm going to start a second channel for cooking and baking. I love cooking and baking. My, po- my dad was a chef. So he taught me how to cook. I was nine years old, three course meal at the age of nine. Wow. I love cooking and baking. There's a few baking um, recipes up there on this channel, but I'm going to transfer it to the new channel. I'm in the process of planning that channel and starting up that channel because I've got an order to bake a birthday cake and make a birthday card for the 20th of May. So it's two weeks from now and I need to get my channel up because I want to film that and put it up. Cool. So I've got two weeks to get that sorted out and Uh-oh. get content for this channel. So I'm going to be busy. <laughs> but I love okay. being busy with what I have a passion for. I cannot wait to see it. Same mm-hmm. here. Same here. I will definitely share the link with Christy for the second channel so that she can share it out with you guys. Okay. Okay. Very good. That'd be great. Oh, but if you are sub to my channel, I will put it up in my community post. I got my community tab the other day. I didn't even oh, notice did you it. Get it. I saw you were very close for getting it. That's awesome. That's my no, goal. No, no. Yeah, I got it. Um, I'm actually over 1,000 subscribers at this stage. I was actually nice. blown away because two of my videos went over 1K views. Guys, I couldn't believe it. And um, the one is almost 1.8K. The other one is 1.2K, I think. And um, I, I showed my mom the number. She said to me, my girl, what the hell is going on there? I said, there were no more. It's not, it's not hell. You don't, we don't use the word hell in this house. <laughs> I said, well, I don't know. It, blew, it just blew up. And um, since then, my channel, some of my videos did good. Some did not so good. But I'm busy changing and I'm busy playing around. But I know... Um, the man, the man up there, have a plan for my life. You have a plan for my YouTube channels. You have a plan for everything that I'm doing, and I just need to trust him. Mostly trust him. If I don't want to trust human beings, I trust him. Like I said, he's the only person I trust with my life. <laughs> my my. My my dad always had a saying. You do not even trust your own father. That is what my dad always told us. You trust only God. You do not even trust your own father. And I never understood why he said that. And after he passed away, my mom explained to me why he said that. (laughs) And it's just like it. He was Greek. My mom's Afrikaans. Um... And I asked my mom, but why did dad always say that? She said, you do not trust anybody. Wow. You do not even trust yourself. And that is what my dad mean by you don't even trust your own father. Because you, do, you, you, you can trust somebody up until a point. And I think that is where my problem at this stage is. I do not know where to draw the line. Or way to get over that line, I must say, to to start trusting again. I am on this side of the wall, and I do not know how to get over it. So, like Marco said, break it down until you can climb over. And you know, one of the one of the one one of the things that we can pray for, one of the gifts that we can pray for, uh, pray for, is um, the gift of discernment. Mm -hmm. Mm And Bernie, mm-hmm. God's word is discerning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if we seek his word, if we seek God, then the discernment, hallelujah, the discernment. I, wanna, I actually want to show you guys something that one my other sister did. Uh, we five girls and one boy. Um, I'm just mentioning it. We're a big family. I had an older brother as well, but he passed away 52 years ago. And my sister made me this for my Bible, actually, for Christmas last year. 
Wow. It's, nice. It's a handmade um, cross. Uh, it's a, it's oh, it's hand stitched. Wow. She did every little. She did every mm -hmm. little stitch by hand. Okay. And she made nice. this for my Bible. I've got the. It's a. It's an Afrikaans Bible. It's a new. It, I don't know what you call it in English. It's an N, NLV Bible. New literal but, translation. New, new yeah, literal translation. but yep. you guys, my mom always told me you never write in your Bible. You don't write in your Bible. My Bible looks like a coloring book. Same I here. Use, Mine does I too. Use, I use it. I use highlighters. <laughs> I use yeah. different color pens. I make notes. I use my Bible. My Bible looks like a coloring book. And <laughs> mom, took my, mom, mom, took my, mom took my Bible the other day and she said to me, my girl, what is going on here? I said to her, mom, I know what's going on there. Yeah. Leave my Bible alone. I know what's gone, going on there. It's got a lot of little bookmarks in it, sticky notes. You name it, it's there. If I open my Bible, I don't go and look for a specific verse to read. Where I open my Bible, I know that God wants me to read that part mm -hmm. or that big. And yeah. um, I think Christy saw the video for me doing the um, hollow box frame staining boxes. Mm hmm you know what my sister wants on what my sister wants me to do? I need to decorate them now. For each frame, I have to put a Bible verse on. I have to print the letters out, cut them out, and stick them or decoupage every letter of that Bible verse that she gave me on that frame, all around the frame. And and you're writing this in hand, right? No, I'm I'm typing it on the computer and printing mm -hmm. it out. Okay. Because yeah. you have to at least have it that big to see it on the outside of the frame, okay. but she wants it olive green. The writing must be olive green nice. on the brown stain, and it's going to look awesome because I started with Psalm 23 already for huh. the one frame that she wants. The Lord is and, my shepherd. <laughs> yes. Because what she wants to do, she wants four, she wants four box frames, one for the children one for the grandchildren then one for the parents and one for the grandparents so for each generation she wants a different bible verse so the one with psalm 23 is the one for her and her husband that i need to do then for the children i have to do psalm 20 psalm 91 hmm. verse i think it's verse two or three the one for protection and then on the other one, actually three of them have to have the same Psalm 91, but just different verses, verses, verses on it. Bernie. My mind is thinking Afrikaans and my mouth is saying it in English. That's Sorry, okay. Guys. That's okay. And then, yeah. yeah, she wants three of them almost the same, Psalm 91, with, but with two, the first two verses on the first, and frame and then the second two verses on the second frame and then the and then two more on the third frame wow. but for the other one i have to do the whole psalm 91 or oh, psalm yeah. 23 she wants the whole psalm 23 on it um i had made my mom the other day a wall hanging that's hanging in her bedroom also with um the um footprints um Foam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was my mom and my dad's favorite. Um, oh, no. My dad always said, "Just remember one thing: if you think your burdens are too too strong to handle, God will lift you up, and He will carry you through that through that Praise storm God. that you go through in your life. He will carry you through." You and know, I, I, you know, Bernadette, I, 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 I want to recommend something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Recommend that I uh, you, uh, you start journaling. I don't know what, what the word journaling is in Afrikaans, but uh, you know, journal. Say again. 
Dach what, what is it? What, how do you say it again? Dach book. Dach book. Dach book. Dach book. Yeah. Your journal uh, is a dach book. Yeah, yeah. dach book. Um, be, because <laughs> God gives it to us, and mm. we have to. We we it's encouraged to write it. You know, because mm. the word says, uh, he told who was the, who was the prophet that he told, write the vision. And make it plain on tablets so that they who come and run by can see it and not get away from it. I'm, I'm, I'm paraphrasing. And they can bring that message out. Mm. Write your vision. Write mm. your information down. If you have the scriptures and you're putting them, um, get the post-its and start writing what, what God is if you're feeling about that scripture. Mm. That will help you lead the way to get through some of the depression and some of the loneliness uh, and some of the fighting against the trust. And that is deep. Uh, um, and, but, you know, writing is important because writing can help people. You know the difference between the, uh, you know, you ever heard of the minor prophets and the major prophets in the Bible? Uh -huh. You know the difference between the major prophets and the minor prophets in the Bible? And this is no joke. The major prophets wrote more. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you know so write it down yeah. write it down mm. get a journal and just write just write just write you know have have your have your stickies up and and you know <laughs> yeah yeah that's right and write it you, you know and, and brian you know you're not the first one to, th to tell me this there she goes uh, with the books um <laughs> <laughs> These I are all my notebooks. <laughs> that, friend <laughs> that friend of mine who passed away last year, he also told me that um, I need to start writing stuff down. And I said to him, but if it, God gave me a message for you. And the message to you that God gave me to give to you, it came to me in a dream one night. And I had, if, if stuff like that comes to me in a dream, I immediately wake up and I have to write it down. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I told him, you told me just now, I need to start writing stuff down. But my message to you from God is, you need to start writing a book. You need to start writing mm -hmm. a book. And he, he said to me, but what type of book? I said to him, I don't know. God just told me to tell you, you need to start writing a book. And you know what, guys? He started writing it and he was halfway through uh, because me and him usually sit and he will write it and I will read it and I will tell him where he can change something or grammar or something like that not right or this sentence is not supposed to be here I was like his editor and we were like halfway through the book that he was busy writing when he passed away and the book never finished can we pray uh, like, can, can we I mean, we, we, you know, you know, our panel, we are believers in Jesus Christ and we believe in the power of prayer. We believe the transformation of prayer. And we believe what the Bible says is as the prayers of the righteous avail of much. Can we pray not only for you, but we'll go ahead and, and pray for everyone that's in here. Um, and um, and I thank our host for bringing us up to have this yes. candid conversation. This might be the more yes. the most candid I've ever been yes. in all of my in, in, in all of my little yes. channel journeys. And I don't have a big channel, yes. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but yes. um, but can we can we pray for you? And then we'll pray for everyone. Yeah, I'm gonna pray us pray us out because it's it's almost two hours and forty five minutes. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. 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 Dear Heavenly Father, I want to thank you wholeheartedly for bringing this community together from all corners of the world to have this discussion, discussion and preach your word and share your love and share your your caring and your kindness. I want to thank you for having new believers also in this this chat and this stream to be able to hear what truly being a believer is all about 
And I want to thank you for letting us show what a true church really truly is for us to come together and be able to talk like this and share like this and lift each other up. I want to ask you to please comfort Bernie in all of her struggles right now yes. and help her to yes, stay strong in her faith and stay yes. focused and keep moving forward and not get discouraged. I want to ask you to please in the future also bring us together and help us to go out into the world and plant these seeds so that that you can have them grow and and just blossom and spread to others i ask that you give protection and comfort to anyone else that is struggling right now that came into yes. the stream and thank you for bringing them into this stream yes. i ask that you forgive us of any and all of our sins that we have done knowingly or unknowingly and yes, continue Lord. to help guide us and walk in the path that you truly want us to walk. Yes, Lord. I pray this in Jesus name. Jesus. And I thank you so much. Yes, Amen. 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 Thanks folks. I want to thank everyone for coming and thank you for having this, this, what well, is going to be somewhat of a short chat has turned into an amazing, amazing get together of, of yeah. like-minded people and i want to thank everyone in the chat that um participated in this conversation and um hopefully we can do this again very soon very soon stay strong stay focused keep your faith and lead by example thank you so much everyone thank good night you for, thank you for thank having you. us Bye. Absolutely. Bye, Bernie. Bye. Good night. Good night.